I'm gonna tell the, I'm gonna tell y'all the real secret for for if you a girl and you want to get a man. The real secret is just be a be respectful. <laughs> Look, but yeah, be respectful yeah. of him. Uh huh. Have good conversational skills with him. Yeah. And ha- and be someone he can feel comfortable with. Yeah. That's all a nigga need, bro. Yeah. You don't need all that extra shit. All that extra shit can go. Like, yeah, for real, for real. You just need to be somebody he can confide in. Because, look, life is already hard enough. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you just need somebody you can com- confide in. All that extra shit that you talking about. Oh, you got to <laughs> do this, 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 and this. Yeah. We don't need all that, like, for, for a woman. Remember that? Remember that list? She was like, "Oh, he gotta have this much money. He gotta drive this car. He gotta, gotta do this. this he gotta shit, do this. This shit. This shit. You a making man, it hard on us? Yes. A man gonna be like, "Oh, she just gotta have a good personality and and I be somebody." I can a nigga, with. I'm gonna be honest. That's a nigga, need, a nigga ain't gonna say shit about no money, about no status, that about shit, no bro. nothing. That it, nigga literally gonna that just shit be like, yeah. don't matter. It don't They got me speeding in a fast lane. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all, man? Episode Lace. I mean, Thoughts on Lace podcast, episode 15. How y'all boys doing today, man? Everything going all right? Okay, then. What's up, G? <laughs> <laughs> bro, what are you doing, bro? This nigga here, bro. <laughs> You shouldn't have let me do the intro because you said I, I should have let this it. nigga do it, bro. You should have not let me do it because I was finna come with something stupid. It's bro. cool, ass nigga, man. Why you trying to be so extra cool, bro? All right, Teddy. If you know who Teddy is, shout out to all my Snowfall watchers. Man, fuck Snowfall, bro. I'm standing on it. I'm, this I'm nigga, this nigga saying look, look, look. fuck Snowfall. I ain't gonna disrespect Snowfall because I never really seen it like that, bro. Exactly. So don't get on here talking about. Like, I don't think it's. I don't think it's as hype like you trying to make it hype. Man, you ain't watched it. So uh, shut the hell up. You the have shit no that opinion. that I seen was good. I seen the direct and it you was good. You have no opinion because you have not seen it. Did you watch the whole thing, nigga? I'm on season four. You ain't watched the whole thing. I took a break. I watched three seasons consecutively in like two days, bro. I took a whole, I'm taking a little break. Man, I'm going to come back bro. to it in about a week or two. It ain't better than Peaky Blinders. I don't give a damn what you say. Nothing better than Peaky Blinders. But did I say anything about Peaky Blinders? No, I didn't. I said Snowfall. Nigga always got to try to one up a nigga like bro. Yeah, just bro. let Snowfall be great, and and you need to watch it because you haven't seen. It. I don't really want to, bro. I feel like I'm off the hype, bro. We're good. We don't want you, <laughs> nigga. Who is we, bro? Who the, the hell is we? The Snowfall fans don't want you. We man, don't need. I don't want to be over there with y'all, niggas. We don't man. need your hating ass. We don't need you. I want to be over there, bro. Come on, man. It started up because he finna piss I me. I want to be over there with y'all, niggas, man. Man, go watch Snowfall, y'all. I'm about me. bro. I haven't even finished it, and it's still that great. But, yeah, what you about to get into? What you did this week, nigga? A lot of – oh, shit. What, hold on, what week? This was Halloween weekend, right? Um, Yeah, this was Halloween week. Oh, I went and seen the lights. The little mm-hmm. Halloween well, lights, bro, yeah. It was dope. It was cool. They I had didn't. The, little, the little – the lights went with the music or whatever. Uh-huh. But this is the bad part, bro. Look, we pulled up in there, and Thriller was on. The song? The song Thriller because the lights go yeah. with the song. Uh-huh. Bruh, Thriller was at the end when we pulled up, bro. Wow. So we couldn't even in we couldn't even get yeah. in there with the Thriller song. Enjoy. We had all these other songs yeah. that they was cool, but it wasn't Thriller. Wait, wait, bro. what other song did they play besides Thriller that you know? Um, let me see. Cause that's like the best one. That's what I'm saying. I really wanted to be in there for that one, bro. Yeah, and we yeah. caught the ass in. Like we ain't even. Bro, I was like, damn, bro. Look, um, ass in is crazy. Let me see, bro. What that song, man? I don't even know, bro. <laughs> That's how that's how you know it wasn't like it wasn't them songs. Bro. Yeah, it wasn't them. It wasn't him like that. It was cool, but man, I wanted that thriller, bro. And I was upset. I was like, damn, bro. Yeah. I was, I, and I thought because it was like a twenty minute ride down there, right? We was out there for where, about where do we be at? Um, I don't know if you know a range line. I think it's over there on range line. I don't you know talking about range line road. Yeah, I think it's somewhere over that there. Shit I could be, far. I could be, I could be confused though. And that shit kind of far. Cause from the house, from my house to it, it was about twenty twenty five minutes. But check it out though. Mm-hmm. Like I said, when we pulled up, they played like four or five, maybe six songs before it was over. Yeah. So that's how I know we was out there for about twenty twenty five minutes. Damn. And I'm thinking, okay, they gonna replay this bit. We gonna get in here. Man, I ain't play that shit, bro. Damn. I was upset, bro. I was upset. I was like, damn. I man. wonder what part it was when 
I wonder what part you came in. I came in when he was, it's three. At yeah, the at very the very end, end of that bro. shit. Damn. I, mean, I was like, no. Because, <laughs> look, I had first, when we was pulling up, I had to wait yeah. to see what, what station to put it on. Uh huh. As soon as I found the station, I turned it on. And it was Thriller going. It was Thriller. It was like 45 seconds of Thriller left. But I can see the lights from where I'm at, and they was matching the song. So I'm like, damn, we is missing Thriller, bro. Yeah. Damn. Damn. But that shit was a heartbreaking That experience. shit sound tough though I ain't yeah. never seen the light before It's cool bro It's cool I'm not gonna say it's just The best thing ever But it, it was like a little cool Little experience You know what I'm okay, saying Okay then but you could, it's, it's probably more for the kids That you could take okay, But I had then. never been So I just wanted to see What they were talking about Okay then yeah. yeah You know <laughs> Wait, crazy. I, What did I do this week um, I didn't do nothing I did something last night though y'all and we gonna talk about the, I'm gonna talk about what what I did last night, and that's gonna transition into the first topic. Go on here, bro. So, man, you know, if you live in Mobile or just in Alabama, if you live in any state, honestly, because all it's a state fair thing mm-hmm. area that come around the Mobile, it go to Pensacola and blah blah blah. This nigga went to the fair. I went to the fair last night. How much you end up spending at the fair? I didn't pay for it. Shout out to my brother Jay. Oh, he paid for you. Mm-hmm. Okay then. But it was just y'all too. It was me, Jay, and a couple other homies. What's up with this cool ass voice you trying to put on, bro? <laughs> like, speak properly, bro. This nigga up in here. Yeah, you know. You know, I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Check this nigga out, man. Check him out, bro. Say what you got to say, man. Hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> say what you got to say, bro. This nigga tripping. Yeah, it was, uh, it was. <laughs> This nigga a wild boy, bro. All right, let me let me get for real though. It was me and a couple of the homeboys or whatever. Mm-hmm. And bro, we went to the fair last night. We supposed to end up going. We supposed to end up getting there at like five forty five. Didn't get there to damn near seven thirty. Mm-hmm. Black people time, bro. But thing about this, this thing about the fair, bro. This the first time this ever happened. I've been going to the fair for like four years straight, mm-hmm. like every year, bro. Them niggas shut the fair down last night while we was there. Did you hear about that? Nah, what happened, bro? Why they shut it down? Quote unquote, it was some niggas out there shooting, but I didn't hear shit. Bro, like that's that's every fair, goddamn. I, I didn't hear nothing about no damn gunfire, like at all. Like you feel me? We waiting I, in line. I mean, you not gonna hear. You should no, bro. You should hear that gunfire is way louder than all of that shit out there. Nah, bro. Not not necessarily, bro. Yes, bro. Not necessarily. How bro. do you, bro? Gunfire you echo how, blocks do, away. Do you know how loud the fire is, though? And then when you hear gunshots, it's because ain't nothing else that loud on the streets. You in the foul, bro? Hell no, nah, man. I don't know, bro. You you supposed to hear that shit? Okay. Anyway. Anyway, uh-huh. it was some girls fighting. <laughs> you know the typical black people shit. They were probably some young girls, yeah. 13, 14, one ain't supposed to beat their ass out there, mm-hmm. but. They were fighting for no reason. I don't even know why they were fighting. It was probably they could have just honestly nipped that shit in the bud. But they was fighting, and then after they was fighting, next thing you know they talking about shooting, and we all in line. Next thing you know, all you see is a whole bunch of black niggas running. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck going on here? Cause we literally hold up. Hold up. You saying before you got in the fight? No, this is why we in here. Oh, oh, we standing in line to get on the little ride, bro. Mm-hmm. And while we stand in line, a whole bunch of niggas just start running, 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 running. I'm like, what the fuck going on? And me and Jay, we were like, yeah, we at first we were like, man, we were like, bro, we finna go with them. But I was like, man, fuck it, we just gonna get back in line. Everybody leaving shit. They, 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 they missing their <laughs> spots. So we got. He was like, bet, let's go up that hole. So we got in line. It was like five people still standing there besides us. Yeah. Everybody else still running around going crazy and shit. So once the once that had calmed down, we got on the ride because we was we skipped everybody. Cause goddamn, they kept leaving and shit. So then after that, we go walk around some more. Everything then calmed down, quote unquote, and we get into another line because everybody is gone. So we like, bet, bro, we finna just start riding hella rides now. Everybody left and shit. Mm-hmm. So next thing you know, by five minutes later of us standing in line, the shit happened again. Niggas constant niggas running all around the fan shit. Yeah. Next thing you know, we stand in line, close down the fair. They closed the rides because niggas was like niggas was sitting on the ride, and they told them to get off. Yes, like where the cops was. I don't know. They were probably up in the front, bro. And so, then it was so fucked up. They had to escort everybody out. So it was like everybody was just walking in like a line and and going out the fucking fair. Oh, that's crazy. That shit man. was lame as fuck. 
Because, bro. That's crazy, bro. That shit lame, Look, though. Dog. Look, though. That shit is crazy, bro. I Why remember, the fuck? I remember them days, bro. It's been happening since I was young. But this Probably is the, more than that. But this thing about it, though, bro. Why can't it never just be niggas going somewhere and chilling? It always got to be black people doing stupid shit. Niggas out that there. That shit, shit fuck. That shit really irritates me, bro. If it was a whole bunch of white people, that probably wouldn't even happen. Probably wouldn't even happen, bro. But you got a bunch of ignorant ass people doing bullshit. Now you close the whole ride for everybody. Plus all that money nigga just spent on going there. We was there for like an hour and a half, two hours before they started doing that. How many rides y'all rode? We rolled two rides, bro, because they was on the bullshit. Listen, bro. They rolled two. We rolled. Cause, bro, I'm telling you, Listen. we got there a little. We definitely got there later than we were supposed to. But we wasn't going to leave till like 11 or something anyway. I'm be real with you, that bro. That shit lame. I'm be real with you. I've been learning this. You want to enjoy the foul, you got to go at an early time around like, I ain't gonna lie. like 12, 1 or 2. And this is the thing I was going to say. That's when you're going to ride all this, the rides. This, you're going to have your yeah. girl there with real you. Nigga. Y'all real nigga. Y'all going to have some real fun. And see, this is this is where I'm starting to feel like I'm becoming old, bro. Yeah. Going that night ain't the wave no going more, Going that bro. night ain't the wave because them niggas going to fuck I, it that, up, I ain't going to lie. When, like, bro, it's not the wave no more. Bro. Like, it's really not. Listen, bro. I'm starting to feel that, and that's why I feel like, bro, I'm getting old as fuck, because I would rather just go in the daytime now, Listen, bro. bro. Like, Listen, bro. Damn. Like, it take a certain level of maturity. To realize to that realize shit. To realize that, bro. <laughs> the fire is better in the daytime. Because, yeah. like, when you at night, everybody there, you ain't going to ride all the rides that you really want to ride. Then if you do ride the rides you want to ride, you're going to wait in line for an hour and a half, right? Yeah. And then you got the possibility of niggas fighting, niggas shooting, or the foul getting closed down. Just like that shit that just happened last night. And it's crazy because the shit, the crazy thing about it is that shit happened before when I was there, but they didn't close it down. Yeah. So, but this time they closed it down and that shit go keep hitting me off, bro. Because I was trying to get on the ride, bro. Yeah, man. I was trying to get on the rides. Listen, like, bro. And it ain't even a, and it's just like the atmosphere at night be better because everybody be out there. Yeah, but that's, but that's why it's not. Up. That's bro. why it's not better though. That's why I look at it as like, man, it's too many niggas. Out I wouldn't bitch. even want you to, bro. You wouldn't even fuck with. It. I because I ain't gonna lie. After a while, I didn't fuck with it. I walked off and bro, went some, bro. You know, I stopped fucking. I had, bro. I hadn't been to the yeah, fair in so long. Six years. The last time I remember you going to the fair, shout out James. Yeah. That nigga had that uh. <laughs> that nigga had no. You didn't even go that day, did you? Mm-hmm. We had the Johnny Manziel jersey on. You did not go that. You didn't go that day, bro. I don't know if I did. I might have did. That was not nah, because that was him and Cam. Okay. You didn't even go that day. But, but that's what I'm saying. One of them days. It's like, yeah, bro, you ain't been since them times. Yeah, because I bro. remember it was times where we used to go to the foul multiple times. A yeah. Week. Other week. Yeah. But now, like, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Before last year, I didn't go. And like I said, because of that same situation, I was like, yeah. bro, there's too many people out here. Niggas trying to front. Niggas trying to flex. There's too many young niggas out here. Too many young niggas out there, motherfucker, doing dumb shit. You got to wait in these lines. I'm trying to enjoy it. And I ain't even going to cap. Guess what? Waiting in lines ain't the biggest problem. It's just the fact that it's a bunch of fuck niggas there. Guess what, bro? What up? Guess what, bro? What? You go in. Say you go to the fair at 8 o'clock, bro. At night? At night, right? Yeah. And you trying to ride all the rides. Yeah. Yeah, ain't going to make it, bro. Hell no. You probably going to ride two. You probably going to ride ride three, three, four rides. Three or four rides. Depending on the rides you get on. Exactly. And you're gonna be standing in line the other, but now if you go in the daytime, you good. When I went, yeah, bro, I promise we rode every ride in that fair and had you. time to walk around, check out other shit. Next time, I ain't gonna lie. Next time, bro, I might just go in the daytime, bro. The daytime is where it's at. I bro. never went in the daytime before because I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, bro. I was, I was recently one of them young niggas mm-hmm. that wanted to be in there all night, mm-hmm. but. After I'm, last night, bro, bro, I'm trying to just go in that hole and get on the ride. It's right, I've been to the fair literally six times in like the last three, four years. I promise. And I haven't rode all of the rides. I promise you. This, this, Look, check it out for my young niggas, bro. Yeah. Y'all got your girl. Are like you trying to impress your girl? Take her ass to the fair in the early part of the day. That way y'all get the fun out of the way. Then you take her to dinner or you take her to a movie. They make it an all-day event. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro, you're going to be able to ride every ride up there. Yeah. And then be able to chill around, look at stuff, because you know they be having little shit there. Yeah, little that, games and shit. Yeah, little, that you yeah. can't really even get into because you're trying to get on a ride yeah. at nighttime. Yeah. But in the daytime, bro, you can do everything you want. I also that's wish really the, a vibe, bro. I also wish it was bigger. That's really a vibe. Yeah. I promise it is, bro. But, bro, it's even scarier, too. Now, look, a lot of niggas might say, bro, it's scary at night when you're on the rides. But it's probably scary in daytime because you can see all that shit. Yeah, you see everything. everything. Yeah, you bro. see everything. Like, look. Imagine getting on a mega drop. In the middle of the day, yeah, you're going to be listen, fucked bro, up. Listen, bro. I was on the ride, bro. I promise, bro. I, you know, I done been to the fat mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never really feared nothing. Yeah. On the ride. Bro, when I went that daytime, bro. When did you go? With, with me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, bet. When I went in that daytime, bro, I promise. 
it was a couple rides that had me like, hold up, bro, this motherfucker fucking ride. <laughs> look, bro, look. <laughs> bro, I oh, was, shit. Look, bro, I was like, hold up, hold up. This motherfucker finna crash that on shit you. Shit looked like it was finna crash because I could see all the details. Yeah, all in the, the shit. Ride, bro. Yeah. I was like, this motherfucker finna crash. Hold up. And then, bro, I'm telling you, bro, it gave me more of a thrill in bro, the daytime. You gotta try, bro. I got on the ride last night. That whole alive it fuck. You gotta try. Which one? The kite ride. You ever got on that bit? No, you, you got on the kite ride. Yeah, that's bro. like that's my second time getting on it. You lay down on that hole. They strap you in. Oh, you bullshit, nah. No, look. Hell no. <laughs> you lay down, right? You, you basically like this, uh-huh. flat out, like you flying or some shit. Yeah, I know it. They strap you down from the back, mm-hmm. pause, mm-hmm. and then you go up in the air. And, bro, you literally swing it around, but it ain't like you just up in the air and then you swing it. It ain't like you just up in the air and you swing it. Mm-hmm. You going like this. Like, you, bro, that nah, shit. Boy, bro. I'm telling you, that shit was fun as hell. I bet it was, but nah. That shit was fun, but it feel like I was finna fall. I'm long. I feel like I was finna fall. My legs hanging all off the back of that hole. Bro, the worst rides to get on, right, at the foul is the ones where you ain't really got no grip. Yep. Yes. Bro, I'll be. But, I, but you got grip on that one because you literally strapped in and you holding it like this. But you know the one yeah. I'm talking about. They had them fat the, ass. Yeah, where well, you just pull it down and it be right down. Yes. I hate you that really shit. Can't, you really can't do what you need to do because look. If, if, oh no, we got on three rides. My bad, not two, three. If this motherfucker was the flip, I need to be able to hold on to yeah. this motherfucker. Well, like, before I can, I can. Yeah, yeah you feel you me? You got them. You got them thick ass. I done been on them rides with them thick, thick ass, ass thing, and look. you just put, you just literally pull them down, and they just be stuck. I and don't then, trust that bro, shit. That's what I'm saying. That's the mega drop. Them motherfuckers be feeling like they. Yes, come up. yes, bro. bro. Look, when I get out the ride, bro, my muscles be fatigued because I be squeezing, squeezing the fuck, the fuck out, out there. Hell yeah, yeah. Bro, y'all niggas not finna get me. Man, Fuck bro, no. the mega, bro, the first time I ever got on a mega drop, I'm fit quick little story time. Quick little story time. Quick I, little fair story time. And me and Jay. The mega drop is the hardest one. Mega drop. Because, look, I was talking to Jay. I'm like, bro, I'm like, bro, the mega drop ain't even going to be that bad, nigga. I've been on the Tower of Terror. Guess what? Yeah. I said, look, I said, I've been on the Tower of Terror, nigga. You know what that is? Yeah. He was like, nah. I'm like, nigga, look it up, and yeah. you will see. I got on that motherfucker. <laughs> but that whole fucked me up. Big time, man. bro. You can go multiple rides at the same Yeah, I'm already knowing. You can go to the Mega Drop three, four times and not even. You trying to go today? Hell no. Why not, man? But a foul calls big bucks. I ain't ready to spend that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bernardo yeah, nah. got on that motherfucker. And I was cool up until we got up. Yeah. And then they play games with you. They'll drop you real quick and then hold you and then drop you all yeah, the way down. Yeah. I was like, boy, hell no, son. And niggas disrespect And it's fucked up because they got to control it. What if a nigga press it down and forget to press that whole back? You just broke your damn, you feel me? Mm-hmm. You fucked it up. Disrespect, bro. bro. Niggas disrespectful at that feeling. Niggas disrespectful, bro. But, yeah. But the fact used to be, you know. Fat used to, it's still fun to be had, yeah. It's just niggas fuck up. You just got to go on the right time. Yeah, you got to go at the right time on the right day. I'm telling go you, Go on bro. a Monday morning, I bet you going to be the only nigga in there. <laughs> go on a Monday morning, yes. You going to be having all the rides to yourself. You have all the rides to yourself, but with y'all niggas in school and shit. I ain't got well, school. Well, they, well, most niggas. I'm saying, if yeah, you out nigga, of school. If you're in, yeah, if you're out of school, go during like the yeah. week early. You I'm feel me? you going to have. Some of the most fun. At Even if you go at night during the week, you still gonna have more fun than going on the weekend at yeah. night. You feel me? So it's like, yeah, you know, you got a funnel cake, bro. No, I didn't. You got a chicken on a stick. I ain't get nothing, man. I was broke. That shit cost too much. <laughs> I told you, bro. I already knew it was gonna cost too much, you know what though. I'm saying? Like niggas be tripping. Bro. Oh yeah, they be like, tripping. That's why you don't eat at the fair, bro. Did I, I told you I got the lemonade that whole like eight dollars, bro? bro yeah. I bought a lemonade for eight dollars. That's the bro. Look, that's got, two four for foes. Look at it from the um the seller point of view. They know you can't get out and go no McDonald's right quick. Shit, I ate before I got here. Yeah, I'm fine. That's what you need to do. Eat before I got there. Yeah, eat before you get there, bro. That's how you spend, uh, save money. You know? You know? And then you might get you one funnel cake. Get you and your girl one funnel cake and say, if fuck. Yeah, say, fuck, you know. Or get something out there, ho. But you trying to goddamn get a chicken on a stick, funnel cake, a yeah, corn spending dog. spending more than what you paid to get in there. Bro, you tripping. You might as well say, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, bro. You might as well say, fuck it. I ain't getting in the house till fucking 12, 45 last night. I'm tired and shit. Yeah, man. But, but y'all, I remember them high school parties that used to be like that when them niggas get to shooting. I never been in a high school party. High school party when them niggas get to shooting at the club. Y'all know what I'm, I mean, shooting at the party. Y'all know what I'm talking about, they bro. dumb ass shit. Niggas get to shooting at the party. Remember, I feel like every state can relate. It was a party that you used to always go to that I always wanted to go like to. The IK parties. Them Capital yeah, League parties. The IK parties. The I used to want to go to them holes so bad, but now I don't even know what they be doing. Bro, they used to stay getting they, they used to stay getting shot up, bro. 
Hell yeah, yeah. I used to stay getting shot up. We used to stay running from bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Shit crazy, bro. Y'all, if y'all know the high school parties, bro, they getting shot up, bro. I don't care who, I don't care what state you're in, you gotta relate. If you go yes. to the school in like the hood, kind of like, bro. You and are them niggas throw a party, bro. They throw a party, oh. man. It's over with. I'm you talking know what about man? bucking. Bucking I'm, out there. Soon as the, soon as they turn on the lights, the closest, somebody will get to your whip. I can't even remember. I can't even remember the closest I ever been to gunfire, bro, was a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. I think I don't know where the fuck I was. I can't even remember, but I just know it was me. And I think T Walk, bro. We yes. were running from somebody. That shit they get busting that day. That shit get wild, bro. That yeah, shit get yeah. wild. Every every party we went to got shot up, bro. And yeah. now that I think about it, bro, that was irresponsible of us. Yeah, because you to niggas, keep going to the party, knowing, them parties, them parties, knowing they finna shoot that whole up, and bro. you could get shot out that bit, bro. Yeah. Straight bullet. Them niggas was shooting. I'm telling you, bro. I didn't hear no fucking gunshots last night. I feel like nigga would just because, bro. I was on a Ferris wheel one time. Ain't nobody right? got I don't know. Uh-huh. It was Ferris wheel. It was a Ferris wheel one time. Uh-huh. It was on the Ferris wheel, and we and you know you can see everything from the Ferris wheel. Yeah. I'm, I see niggas outside the shit scattering, and I didn't hear no gunshot. That's how I know for a fact that niggas was not shooting, bro. Cause first of all, you can't even get a gun into the fair. So that shit ain't going, bro. You got middle detectors and cops in the front of that. Hole. So you what you? So thing. what you think? You think them niggas was? But I thought you said they were shooting outside the fair. No, they them niggas. In some that's what. I, that's what they were saying. That's why I'm like, bro, ain't no way them. So niggas you think was them niggas was just playing around, making it look like they? Was they shooting. probably were fighting, and everybody was running to a fight, and they were just saying like, oh yeah, people were shooting. Mm. You know how people live, bro. Yeah. Cause I didn't hear that shit at all, bro. I'm for real. Shit crazy. Yeah, fair man. It's uh. It's a, it's, a, it's a hit or miss sometimes when you got black niggas doing dumb shit. <laughs> but you know, yeah, what it is, man. For sure. All right, man, you got something? What you want? Bro, did you see the shit about the plane? Um, Wait, what What the hell you talking about? Oh, look, bro. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look, it was something about a plane. I just saw it like yesterday, bro, um, that they about to start, they about to make a plane or they made the prototype or, the, you know, or whatever. A plane with um, with the sky, with a sky view, where you can go to the top of the plane, and it's like a glass. Oh, like a, like glass, a glass, like a little seat. It's a seat that you can go to the top of the plane, and it's a glass um cover, and you sitting up under the glass cover, and you can see out to the. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Listen, bro. I'm so sick. That's crazy. I'm sick. Just, of just think about it. No, I, I got the video. No. I'm gonna have to show you the video. Yeah, but just think about something. it. It's like a glass. It's like a first class seat. It's up like on a the first glass. class seat, and you at the top of the. You on top of the plane. Who want to do that, bro? I'm telling you, niggas gonna pay for it. Dumb niggas that's, will pay for that. But that's shit. that's once in a lifetime experience, though, bro. Yeah, once in a lifetime. Once you die, cause your ass gonna die. You tripping? <laughs> but man. you don't think you don't think that's I wrong? think that's definitely wrong, though. I'm bullshitting, but I think that's cool, though. I'm I would you. I would never do it, but I think that's I think I'll do it, bro. Just to see, look, cause look, you can see the this sky from goddamn. This nigga outside flexing. Outside the man. plane. You de- you basically outside the plane. This nigga bro. flexing for the camera, y'all. Hey, bro, I'll do it. No, you wouldn't. I would definitely do it, bro. No, you would not, bro. I would definitely Why are you do sitting it, here bro. doing that? I would definitely do it, bro. If we was off cam, you would be saying, man, that shit crazy, bro. I nah, wouldn't even do nah, no shit bro. like that. Nah, bro. I've been open looking at life differently, bro. Man, it, wow, since we had that 10 years, 10 million discussion. Bro, listen. <laughs> That's what it is. Nah, bro. listen, bro. That's something that you bro, I would probably do it, bro. It's no a, lie. It's only a couple once in a lifetime things that I would do. But that's that, that that's another thing though. It's like the technology. And technology what, is finna um and what, kill everybody. Nigga, let me ask you this, bro. What's up? You think you think the technology gonna get so advanced to the point where we don't even use paper and pen and yep. books no more? We yep. just gonna be. I on feel the, like sooner or later it's gonna be some holographic shit, and ain't gonna be no more pen and paper. Mm-mm. Everything you see that we, I feel like I feel like niggas are somehow everywhere you see niggas are trying to make some shit futuristic. Uh-huh. They ain't even gonna let a nigga just heat tables. They say, you know, that whole going to be a flat surface that just appear and you put shit on it. Like, yeah, I'm trying to tell you, bro, couches. Yeah. No, bro. I'm trying TV. You see how you got an actual television and you yeah. can feel and touch that hoe. Watch. Give it about 15 years. Them they going to be out there. Hoe, just had that hoe. Just you see how thin they got TV. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, it's going to go to just a big ass screen. Look, bro. I'm it, telling you, it's getting it's getting thinner and thinner. I don't fuck with that, bro. I don't like change. <laughs> In this way, cause these niggas bullshit, man. Make some shit that actually helps somebody, bro. You niggas sitting here trying to make a goddamn Tesla, Elon. I don't fuck bruh, with Elon much, bruh, man. That nigga a buster. Listen, don't fuck bro, with that nigga, man. What, what's wrong with Tesla? That man, a lame man, nigga, bro. If he didn't make it, I would get one. 
Well, damn, bro. What you don't fuck? With? Hold on. What you? Let me. What's I your? Just don't fuck with his ideology, bro. Okay. What's his ideology? That like, you don't fuck with? like the futuristic shit that he be trying to put on our society and all that extra shit. Mm-hmm. Then he just an asshole with money. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. You got broke niggas down this motherfucker. You feel me? So you really trying? So you think it's gonna get to the point where it's like, bro? I, you see that trash can? Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, some sh- it's gonna be some. You gonna be able to shoot that hoe and it's gonna dispose somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Well, that that should be dope. That'll bro. be. But see, that's cool. Yeah. Like, imagine if you could make a trash can or some shit that just like whole like infinite trash or something like. Yeah. Even though that sounds fake as fuck, I'm saying like you know how niggas be coming up with crazy shit. Imagine you could do something like that or like. You could uh, do. You, you, you just drop it, and that bitch actually shoot to where it need to go. Yeah, like you drop it in. You drop it in the trash can, and, and it just that shoot. Because sh- you know they got the trash fields, right? The yeah, big the big ass field, field worth of trash, uh-huh. and that bitch just shoot to the trash field somewhere. To be honest, that's kind of like a sewer system. That's another problem as well. The what? world is getting overpopulated with trash, bro. Did you know that? Yeah, bro. Like Wally, bro. Wally, you see Wally? This nigga, <laughs> this nigga finally just watched Look, Wally, bro, and he want to bring this shit up. Look, bro, I Come just on. watched Wally, bro, and that shit is, bro. That shit is real, real life. That shit is real bro, life. Oh, that's what I was saying. Look, bro, Wally, right? Mm-hmm. Wally, prime example. The technology got so advanced them niggas, to the point that them niggas only knew the screen. Yes. When the lady, when the lady got them. Um, took the screen off when Wally took the screen off. Yeah. She was like, "Oh my God, we we living in a beautiful yeah. spaceship." She didn't even know because the you, screen bro. was in her face twenty four seven. And you talking bro. about Elon Musk, a real nigga? What you think he trying to do? You think he trying to do that? Same shit. Oh yeah, man, we gonna we gonna try to find something repopulate on Mars or or the moon. I mean, bro. the fuck is you talking about, Elon? Huh? What is you talking about? Why he can't do that though? Because we can fix the shit we got here, bro. It ain't broken all the way yet. What if we can't fix it? And it then, ain't broke yet. I'm saying I would rather look. I would rather have a backup plan if we can't fix but it. But I would also rather initiate the first plan first before you even just jump straight to the backup plan. Yeah, but you need a plan B. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, also. have a plan B, but initiate the first one, nigga. You ain't even got to the first one before you sitting here talking about populating other planets and shit. Who the hell you think you is? <laughs> you ain't been. You you feel me? Come on, dog. Come on, bro. This nigga worth the billions same, of the dollars. Same, what else would he do? The same way. What else would he do? Listen, like, the same way that we cause and shit. Mm-hmm. Why not just make a way that we can't cause it? Mm-hmm. Like the the ozone layer, right? Mm-hmm. It's coming from all the gas and all the fucking smoke and extra shit that's coming from the planet that we that we uh, uh you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Why not just find a way to lower that? Just like trash, find a way to lower trash. Make shit where it's more can where you can use it multiple times. Even though people recycle, it's like. That shit ain't enough these days, bro. Mm-hmm. You got the world overpopulating with trash. You got people overpopulating with people. It's like, bro. I mean, come on, dog. It it's definitely is. shit out here that we could do for these niggas to, and not in no Thanos way. Mm-hmm. We not killing niggas. I'm saying it's a way that the shit could be possible if you niggas just put your mind to it. This nigga said nigga by 15 times in that one sentence. I did say it. Stop but, saying it that much. My bad. Nigga, but, bro, it's I like. Think- I was gonna say it again, but I'm just saying though, bro. Like for real, I can't talk, but I just so, I feel like it's just plenty other solutions that we could do before we try to do something like that. I feel you, bro. But you know, some technology is good and some is not, bro. We know that for a fact. Yeah, we do. Some is not, bro. We but, do. You know. We know. Like for like, never mind. But shit. What the, what you say about the um technology though? I just feel like man. No, I was just asking. Would you? Oh. Do you think? It's going to be obsolete. Like, the shit mm-hmm. that we hold dear right Sooner now. Sooner or later, it's going to be no more sweeping. It's going to be no more, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You ain't going to have to sweep. Because they already got the little monster thing where they just run around and grab your yeah. shit. But I feel like I'm the type of nigga that's going to, I'm going to try, try to, try to, to stick to, to tradition. Yeah, I'm going to always try to stick to traditional shit. Like, I don't even use a dishwasher. Hell no. I wash them dishes by hand, bro. That dishwasher shit. Man, I feel like that's better anyway. I feel like, listen, bro. I'm not going to cap you down. I feel like the dishwashers be bullshitting, man. <laughs> like, for real. I'd rather just get in there and wash it with my hands, man. Because I feel like the the dishwasher, true enough, I mean, it worked to an extent. But it's like, bro. Because, look, if you got something that's really icky on there, right, you still got to wash it first and then put the shit in the dishwasher. Yeah, yeah. You might as well just wash that motherfucker, bro. What's what? the difference? Yeah, what's the difference? I don't even use my dishwasher, man. Oh, that was a good segue. Yeah. So, I got a topic for you real quick, right? So, 
It's a quick one. Uh-huh. Well, it ain't quick. It's just, you know. So you stranded on a deserted island, right? Or just stranded anywhere. Yeah. You got TV. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You got it. You able to watch them. We able to watch movies and shit. Mm-hmm. Problem is, you can only take five movies with you to watch. Oh, damn. What are the five movies that you hold the most dear that you are taking with you on this deserted island? Because uh-huh. after you take these five, these are the only ones you get. Okay. So it's not like you got multiple movies. You got five movies, and those are the ones you're taking with you. Oh, that was a good one. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely taking Heat. I said that, too. I'm taking Heat. Um, oh, this nigga just came off the swole. Came swim. off the swole. Came off with this shit, bro. How you going to hit me with that? I don't even. I can't even. So I was movies. talking to Brian about it. I love movies, man. Um, I got to put Heat on there. Mm-hmm. I would definitely put Infinity War on there. You got two for two. I said the same thing. I would put, I would put Dune on there probably. What? That yeah. just kind of blew. That kind of took me for a loop. Dune. I, I I really like Dune, man. Okay. I don't know what it is about it. Dune live as fuck. I gotta get me a Black Hood movie in that bitch, bro. Um, let's see. I would probably put Boomerang, man. You. Ooh. I fuck with Boomerang. That took me off the rails. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Heat. You know what? I'm gonna take Dune off. Okay, but I feel like I, I could put some. I got Infinity yeah, War. Yeah, you got Infinity War. I don't War. really need them. Okay. So, bit. I'm going to do Heat, Infinity War, Boomerang. Okay. Uh, if y'all haven't seen Boomerang, it stars Eddie Murphy and Holly Berry and shit like that. Boomerang, maybe paid in full, bro. Mm. But let me see, man. Let me see. That's a good question, bro, because five movies. You know I love movies, bro. Yeah, yeah. And see, you didn't have time to make your list. I did, but I want to change some shit on my list. Okay, okay. Because I've been thinking about this since me and him had that conversation. Okay, I got, let's see. Heat, Infinity War, I'm Boomerang. Su- I'm surprised you didn't say your movie. Because I said it. What movie? What your movie Oh, oh House Party. That's not what I'm talking about. What? Well, your other movie. Well, you can say that, but what your yeah. other movie? I'm going with I'm going with Heat, Infinity War, uh-huh. Boomerang, House Party, and... um. Damn, man. I feel like I got to have a Denzel movie in there or something. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, I also feel like I got to have a comedy in there. House Party is a comedy. It is. Sort bro. of. It is. Sort of. You know right. what? I'll take it back. Okay. I'm going to do Heat. Uh huh. This is the definitive? I think, though. I think this. I think so. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do Heat. Um. Infinity War, Boomerang, 40-year-old version. Mm, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, version. okay. And uh, I said, Heat. 40-year-old <laughs> version. Heat, Boomerang, Infinity War, 40-year-old version. And um, damn, bruh. What's that last one? It's so many, bruh. How has it came to his head yet? Yeah. Say it for me, because I, I need to if, if, say it for me. Where is Usual Suspect? I'm surprised you, you didn't say that. I'm surprised you didn't. I'm like, where? I'm like, is he gonna say it or not? Look, 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 is you gonna say it? That's what it is. Heat, Infinity War, Usual Suspects, Boomerang, and Forty Year Old Version. Mm-hmm. Then my five. That's a good ass list. That's a good ass list. My and guess five. what? We got three of the same movies on there. Okay, go. What's yours? I got Avengers: Infinity War, uh-huh. Heat, uh-huh. Usual Suspects. Uh-huh. I said Friday. Okay. For my black classic hood comedy, okay. but I want to change that. To what? I don't know. I might put "Forgetting Sarah Marshall" on there. Uh-huh. Should I put that on there, or could I keep something? Could I change it? I'm gonna go with. Hold up. Okay, I'm gonna go with Avengers Heat. Um, what I just said, Avengers Heat. Avengers usual Heat. Suspect. Usual suspect. Um, Friday, uh-huh. and I had said, "What was my fifth one that I said?" I said, "Uh, I can't think of the fifth one. The fifth one that I said." You got it in your notes? No, cause I, cause it was like an actual conversation. So okay, okay, brought, to okay, my okay. Attention. I cannot remember what it was though. But then was the four, mm-hmm. so I'm just gonna add a fifth one. If I could add a fifth one, my ooh, my three candidates would be the Departed. Fuck. Either the Departed. 40 year old version, mm-hmm. or probably goddamn, or probably like training day. Or I shit. wanted to say training day. I wanted so to say bad. training day so bad, but I don't know, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go with 
Mm. I'm gonna go with 40 old version, bro. Okay. And so let me tell you why. Break your break your list down one more time. Okay, we got Usual Suspects, uh-huh. Heat, uh-huh. Avengers Infinity War, uh-huh. Friday, uh-huh. and 40 year old version. Okay. Let me tell you why I picked 40 year old version over Training Day and The Departed. Even though The Departed is a better movie. And you got Forgetting Sarah Marshall on there. No, I took it off. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I still I kept Friday. I kept Friday, Friday back okay. on there. I kept Friday. So yeah. Let me tell you why. Because I already feel like I got a departed on my list mm. with usable suspects. And heat. And I already got a train today on my list with heat. Mm. So I would just keep them two as my little thriller heat crime movies. Mm. And then Avengers is my sci-fi action adventure joint. Mm. Then for my comedies, I got 40-year-old version, my favorite comedy movie of all time. Mm. Also, the funniest movie of all time. Anybody want to debate, we can do it. Mm. And, and we end with Friday, my childhood. So Damn. I feel like that's a good one. You got exactly what I got. Yeah, we picked the same. It's, we picked the exact same thing except Friday. I put that boomerang on there. Over Friday is crazy. Over, over Friday, bro. It, I ain't gonna say it's crazy because I feel like over, I got. Yeah. I wanted to make something all around. Wait, I thought you had house party on your list. Or did I you change? Oh, you changed that. So okay. my my list is Heat, uh-huh. Infinity War, Usual Suspects, Boomerang, and Forty Year Old Version. Okay, that way I got like a romantic. I got yeah. the romance with the boomerang shit. Yeah. I got the action with the Heat, Infinity War, Usual Suspect. Let I got me, the comedy with Forget um, Four Year Old Version. Let me tell you what Brian's is. You want to hear it? Mm-hmm. His fault, because he ain't got a feel for it. Mm-hmm. It's the first Top Gun. Ooh. Because he said that's one of his favorite movies. Mm-hmm. The first Rocky. Ooh. Titanic. Uh huh. Bad Boys. The first one. Ooh, that he got a he clean. Hey, that was clean. I'm telling you, that was a clean ass list. I was like, damn. Bro got a good ass list. Yeah, yeah. He got Top Gun and Bad Boys on that motherfucker. Damn, but but look though, off the rip, I might be able to change that list. But I mean, off the rip, that's my list. Yeah, but, but now, off, if off I was thinking, thinking about, about it, it, if I was to sit and think for hours upon hours, some I, might get yeah, switched some around, might get switched bro. around. Definitely. I know for a fact, Avengers: Infinity War is definite. The other four are switch around. I know for a fact. Usual suspects. You can't switch Infinity War. It's over there. <laughs> and I know for a fact Infinity War is on there. Them the two I know for sure on there. Matter of fact, you know what? Heat is heat in Avengers for me. I think usual and usual. I think I could trade. I think I could possibly trade usual for the departed. If I sat down and really thought about it for the longest amount of yeah, hours. Yeah. I think, yeah. But but for me, I think usual and Infinity War ain't changing. Okay. Baby. And I might. Bro, to be honest, Boomerang really ain't going nowhere, bro. It's really not. I really P- can't do Boomerang it. Boomerang is underrated as shit. I really can't do it, bro. But, I fuck with Boomerang. But Boomerang over house. Boomerang versus house party is really a, really a. You feel me? Yeah. That's a hey. That is a good one, bro. That's a good ass. Because house party was my movie. They both got Martin Lawrence in. Yeah. Come on, man. I could really rise house party over and over and over. Exactly. But I feel like Boomerang was just so hard. And look, you know what's a very Stay on movie topic, but off of the five. Uh-huh. You know what's a very underrated movie that niggas don't watch? Well, a lot of niggas seen, but it's a very underrated movie that came out in the 90s, bro. Love Jones, bro. Yeah, Love man. Jones is live yeah, as shit. Bro. bro, that movie is he was like, bro, crazy as fuck. He he let too much shit slide, though. But I mean, he fought he, with But he, he let too much shit slide, but he also stood on business. He did stand on business at the end, at the end but... Only because, but he didn't though, because he, he he chased yeah, her down. He chased her and down. He just missed the opportunity. But see, that's some movie shit though. I feel like, but look though, in her mind, she don't know he chased her down. Yeah. In so her in mind, her mind, he just let her, her mind, go off. In her mind, yeah. she, he just let her go off, and guess what? She came back, yeah. wrote the poem for the nigga because she knew she fucked up. She knew she fucked you up. You came down here and fucked old boy. That what he said. Yeah. Let me ask y'all something. Was was the alone wrong or Neil was Lorenz Tate wrong? Percent wrong, bro. Yeah, Neil, she was hundred percent wrong. Yeah, Neil Long was hundred. No, look, no matter what your man did wrong, if you cheat, you the most wrong of all. But see, well, look, she, well, she, she technically didn't, didn't but cheat, see, right? That's, bro. I feel like she got influence from the friend. The yeah. friend was like, play the field, play the field. Yeah. But when you went out there and played the field, you lost the nigga you really was fucking with. You talking about going back to your ex? Why you going back to this nigga? I don't know. And my man was supposed to be cool with it. Cause look, she talking about some testing. Why you testing this I nigga? Didn't even, you see what she, nigga. what she said? You didn't. What she was saying? Look, she was like, cause she was like the dude. Her, her ex was some was back in town or whatever. Yeah. And she would tell her friend she really fucked with my boy Lorenz, bro. Yeah. And she was like, "Well, ask him if you can go to another dude and see what he do." 
Bro, any nigga, if you ask a man, you gonna be like, what? You gonna be like what? The fuck are you mind, talking about? He like, oh, you really asking me this? So of course I'm just finna let you go because if 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 you trying to choose between me and him, you why? can have you, you yeah. can have you nigga. Why you you should be choosing me all the real? So my man only did what he was supposed to do. Exactly. Why would he stand up and be like, um, nah, I want like I want you to stay here with me. You, I wouldn't even say that. Why bro. would you say that? Because you basically saying that you want to be with this nigga. Right? If you come and ask me, you talking about some, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about going to New York to see my ex. Mm-hmm. Why would I be like, and then. Why would I be cool with that? Why would I be cool with that, bro? You act like you didn't even care I went to New York. That's, That's what, what I'm that saying, was it. But what you, what, what, you, what you want me to do? What you want you think I'm going to sit here and beg you to stay here when you was talking about, oh, I want to go see my ex in New York. In his mind, you, you basically already made your mind up. Exactly. You feel me? He don't know why you asking you to he, him he that. He like, don't know why you asking him that. On, you already made your mind up because if you really wanted to be with him, you wouldn't even ask no shit like exactly. that. You would have just been with him. Exactly. Why would you ask another? Why would you do that? Her friend fucked up. She literally said, "You act like you didn't even care that I went to New York." Her friend fucked up. Of course, up. this look, man gave a damn. Her friend fucked up. But look, that wasn't even the worst part because I feel like if he really fucked with her, and you know, he could have really because he he really fucked with her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when she came back. And then they had the little disagreement, and she went with bruh on a date. The nigga that's in his circle. Yeah. No. That was even more. That was up. foul, bruh. And my man, and that's what I'm saying. That's why he cussed the ass out. And that, I, I feel like that was the best part of the movie. I feel like that's the most realistic part of the movie. Because she needed that, bro. That's one of the most realistic arguments I've ever seen. She really needed that, bro. bro she needed that, bro. That because, movie. Look at it. Hold up. Ooh, Let's break that motherfucker down, right? Let's break it down. Shorty went out there and fucked the old boy in New York. Yeah. Right? That shit didn't work out. She seen bro was a loser. That ain't work out. So she come back to town trying to get back with him after you'd have made the biggest mistake of your life. Mm-hmm. And you expected bro to sit around. Yeah. You told bro you was finna go see another dude. So you think he finna sit around and just be lonely? Nah, he gonna call up another girl. She came back in town, seen him at the library with old girl, right? Yeah. Then she was like, okay, that relationship over with. Went and talked to my man, homie. Homie. You should have told that nigga no, bro. That's fucked up. You should have told that nigga no. You then she pulled, up, she pulled up to the party, right? Yes. With the nigga. With the nigga. And she, and my man. She like, pulled up to the party with the nigga. With the nigga, bro. You done been, because look, you got to look at it like this. When they was talking before she left, mm-hmm. she had already met all his homeboys. Yes, she did. And you did that, bro. If you still fuck, if you really liked it, the nigga, why do that? Why do that? That bullshit. ain't the way to get him back. Like, why do that old then, lame ass shit, take man? Take it out. I'm telling take you, it bro. out. Then my man came back. He came back. He even let that slide, right? Yeah. He let that slide. Yeah. And then you want to ask the nigga about trust. When you, you the one broke the trust twice. Twice. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, bro? My man said that. She said, she said, I can't even remember the exact word. She said, she said, she said how you, um, she calling all at the house, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning she, or whatever. She said, you ain't giving me no reason to you trust yeah, you. Yeah, you ain't giving me no reason to trust you. Um... I Do just, I even really need to? After said, you did that fuck shit? Said, I just told you, nigga. For the <laughs> last said, time. I just told you. For the last time. <laughs> that nigga funny as shit, though. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's one of the realest scenes I ever seen. Lorenz Tate. Lorenz Tate. The, that old, was the old dog part was cool. But that, but that part Jones was like, scene. I fuck that's with that That's some shit. real nigga shit, because that's the same shit I would have said. I would have said the same shit, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. I would have been a nigga that wouldn't have chased the ass down. And see, that's why. I wouldn't have chased the ass down, though. Fuck nah. I would have just let her be. Yeah. But like I said... And the writers, I mean, in her mind, he did let her be. Yeah. Which is why she came back again. Well, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right about she that. She came yeah. back again, wrote the poem for the nigga. How I couldn't, I couldn't fathom talking to another shorty after she went and fucked this nigga, her ex, mm-hmm. and then talked to my brother. What would I look like? First of all, I'm cutting that nigga off, and I'm cutting her off. Because mm-hmm. ain't no goddamn way, man. Ain't no way, man. Like, I can see if you didn't know that was my man. But yeah. I already introduced you. But it, uh, exactly. And you know for a fact this is my man. And you know it can get back to me. Like, it, you, no, she purposely went to the party with this nigga. Yeah, but she didn't know he was going to be there. That ain't bro the point, was like, bro. That's not the point. I know that ain't <laughs> the point. Bro, the point ain't even about her going to the party. The point is her accepting the date. Yes, bro. Like, that's the point. Like, how the fuck you... How you accept a date? That, that's crazy, bro. And it's a... And... The Love Jones, right? Yeah. It's like, I'm fiending for your love. Yeah. I got a Love Jones that met the man. So yeah, look, I know. So it's like this, bro. Yeah. If you were so called in love with the nigga this whole time, the way you moving ain't, ain't showing, showing the shit. And it you ain't. expect him to just 
accept the shit and just like, move accordingly. No. Kneel alone. We know that you kneel alone, but you ain't kneel alone in this movie. She wasn't no real one in that movie. Pipe down. She wasn't real in the movie, bro. Hell no, She wasn't real. That shit wasn't real, bro. That but look, I ain't gonna lie, bro. What I'm up? not gonna lie. I'm gonna give her a little leeway, right? Because I felt like... <laughs> what leeway listen are you out, give Listen out. I felt like, bro, her best friend... A lot of people get influenced by her. They 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 peers. You should not say you not saying, sh- bro. Look, not yeah. saying that you should get influenced by your peer. You should have your own thoughts. Yeah. But a lot of people, when they be friends with somebody for so long, they 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 opinion have an impact on them. And it was clear that her friend had a huge yeah. impact on it. And look you what your friend got you good. doing, bro. Your friend got you going outside. And look, when it happened, she didn't know how to handle it. <laughs> look. She didn't know how to handle when 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 my man said it was kind of like she was new to the shit, bro. Yeah, it was almost like Neil alone was new to the relationship type of shit, bro. Yeah, because she did not know how to handle, bro. She yeah. didn't know how to handle each situation. She handled each situation terribly the, the wrong, terribly <laughs> wrong, bro. So I was like, "Damn, my nigga, you going outside out here? You going outside, bro? Fucking up. And, and, and you and you had to come back in the rain." Mm-hmm. You knew you was wrong. You knew, knew you, you was wrong, wrong for that shit. But man. I feel like, because look, when she left, right, her friend wasn't there. Mm-mm. So she had a lot of time to herself to realize, bro, I fucked this whole relationship up. Mm-hmm. It really, they could have been together since the beginning, bro. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Since the very beginning. Since the very first time they met in the club. They could have been together. With this nigga. From that point on. Hell yeah. But you did it twice. You fucked up twice. It's no more black movies like that, bro. And look, and look. To be honest, if a girl called a man, he can't help that. Exactly. Like it ain't she, like I told her to call me. Bro was like, what you doing? You know it's you know what time it is? Yeah. That's what he was like. He yeah. was like, so he trying to see what the fuck she want. Yeah. <laughs> he, it ain't like, oh hey, baby, what you What's doing? up with you? Yeah. I, I, can't, I can't talk right now. I can't fuck, talk nah. right now. Yeah. This nigga like, bro, what the hell you he doing? He did have a name on the board, bulletin board. I don't know why he had a name up there, but at the same Does time. Does it matter? It don't matter. It don't matter. Bro. It don't matter. It don't matter. But at the same time, she was like, I don't trust you. And my man was like, you don't know shit. Yeah. About no trusting people. Bro. I wish I could play the clip because I got to say That it. clip is hard. Bro. But that's the one of the best scenes in like a movie. And it's just like, man, ain't no more black scenes. Ain't no more black movies, man. <laughs> ain't no more black movies, man. These niggas ain't making shit no more. Bro said, I don't even know what the... You know what? He said, he said I don't even know what the... You know what? This shit is for the birds. <laughs> <laughs> this cool ass nigga, bro. This cool ass nigga. Yeah. Lorenz Tate. But yeah. I got another. You got a topic? Oh, um, let me see. Because I've been the only one throwing them hoes out. You see how I'm the one keeping it afloat, y'all. Oh, my back curves. Bro, um, what's up? Bro, did you, um, look, look, bro. I don't know how, why I found out that, bro. But this is the weirdest shit, right? What's that? It's a dude named, um, you talking about Leon Kennedy? Nah, nah. It's a guy. <laughs> bro, what nigga? Uh, 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 uh. You know who that is? Mm-mm. It's a dude named. Oh no, I don't. That's Resident Evil. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> Where that nigga come from? I don't bro. know, bro. Go but ahead. It's a dude named Charles Osborne, right? <laughs> and bro had hiccups for sixty years straight. <laughs> bro, why you laughing, bro? Just, I'm not trying to laugh. That's bad. That's definitely bad to have hiccups that's every terrible, day bro. for sixty years straight. 60 years straight, like non-stop type. I imagine just, that's crazy. That's crazy as when fuck. When you think about it, bro, because look. You can't talk a proper sentence. Without he could. Without. <laughs> like, damn, that's fucked up. And that shit be hurting sometimes. And, and it was weird. He said it stopped after 68 years. It came on and just never stopped. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, man, God bless that man, bro. Yes, because bro. that's a hell of life to live with hiccups every day you wake up. Every day, up. yep. 68 years Six, of your life. 68 you years, hiccups. bro. Um, Damn. But yeah, um, I feel like one, I f- and I don't think you could ever get used to it. No. I don't think you ever get used to it. Because you will never know when it happened. Yeah. Because sometimes it happened for, like, for example, you can have a whole little sentence and then it don't happen. Then you just, at, in the middle of the next sentence. Yeah. It's like, bro, I don't know. Damn, bro. That's but, fucked but up. But I was just, I was just looking. I be looking at weird shit on Google, bro. I be on some. That's why shit. I had like, to look. keep them Google's receipt closed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I be looking up shit like, um, uh, um. Uh, let's see. I be looking at crazy, like deep shit. Like, why do we? Why do they call it a funny bone? Right? Yeah. 
you know, shit like that, yeah, bro. Yeah, you fucking crazy. And they talk about, you, you know why they call it a funny bone? Why they call because it it's like, bone? The, the bone is called humorous. The humorous bone. <laughs> it's no way. It's no way that's Bro, look that it. shit up, bro. Oh, God, that's why they call it that. Bro, it's, a, it's called humorous <laughs> bone, but it's spelled different. So they call it the funny bone, bro. Wow. Yes, bro. This That's shit, crazy. This shit, I'm telling you, bro. I be looking up some crazy shit on Google. Sometimes bro. I be looking up shit like, uh, like, like about science and fictions and shit. Bro, I'm gonna tell you another thing, bro. What's right? up? Give me another I'm fact. I'm gonna tell you another Google fact that I be looking up, bro. Okay, bet. Bro, it's no, it's no U.S. state with the letter Q in it, bro. I know. You know that? Yeah. That's crazy. That's bro. crazy. For it's no one with a Z in it either. It's, it's not with a Z in it either. Mm-mm. Hold up. I think I. No. It ain't one with a Z. No. Damn. You got, like, for example, Q and Z. Q and Z is one with, it's multiple with T. A. No, it's, no, it's not one with B neither. You sure? Yeah. It's no state that start with B. What state start with B? Not start with B. I'm talking about got the B in the, in the name. We ain't got one with B. We ain't got a state with B in it. No, I, I'm no. We do. I thought you said start. No, with no it. I said it's no. It's no. Um, it's no state with the letter. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about start. Okay then, because if that's the case, I think we do got one with a Z in it. It's that's what I'm saying. It's Q is the only letter that don't appear in the states. Wow, that's crazy. In no part of it, the front, beginning, or the end. Damn. Q. Can yes. you name all fifty states? Nope. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can. Name. I ain't going in order neither, y'all, because that's gonna be more. Man, tough. I ain't even finna, no, Alabama. Bro. I ain't finna. I ain't finna do it. Hold up, it's a it's a song with it. Alabama, Arkansas, Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. I know, but I'm not <laughs> singing that though. It's Alabama. You listening? Yeah. I'm finna name as many as I can. This nigga can't name fifty. I can name. I could probably name as, as many as I can. That's not fifty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, look. We got Alabama. Yeah. Arkansas. Yeah. Texas. Yeah. Tennessee. New York. New Jersey. Rhode Island, Maine, Connecticut, Delaware, that's 10. Mm-hmm. Alaska, mm-hmm. Nebraska, um, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Florida, Georgia, New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Um, no, that's Louisiana. New Orleans is, oh yeah, my bad. My bad, y'all. Louisiana, mm-hmm. Oklahoma, California, that's 20. All right. We got Oregon, I mean, <laughs> we got Washington. Mm-hmm. We got um, Hawaii. Mm-hmm. We got we got Washington, we got Hawaii, Nevada. we got North Carolina, South Carolina, Nevada, New Mexico, um, Kentucky, Utah. Virginia, West Virginia, Utah. That's 30. Mm-hmm. So now we sitting at 30. Mm-hmm. So we got uh, a. <laughs> say Detroit already? Detroit is a city. I mean, I mean, I mean Michigan. Michigan. You got, no, I didn't say Michigan. Okay. You got Michigan, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, my bad. Mm-hmm. Um, We got, uh, 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 what's the, we got Wisconsin. We got um, what's the Midwest states? Mm. We got Wins- Indianapolis. We got in- Indianapolis. We Minnesota. got Illi- Minnesota, Illinois, mm. um, Denver. I mean, um, Colorado. Colorado. Colorado is a state. Mm. Um, what else we got? We got uh, that's thirty-seven. Bro, you know the states that I don't know. I mean, I don't remember the ones at the top. The, the ones that's you talking next, about that go across, or yeah, you talking about the little smaller the, ones? The ones that's at the top and right there in the middle. Like yeah, the and, I look. don't remember that shit neither. Yeah. We we at thirty seven though. We almost at fifty. Mm-hmm. We are down by thirteen states. Um, Mississippi. How did I not say Mississippi? Mm-hmm. Mississippi. Idaho. Idaho. Um, I'm really I'm blanking. That's what I'm saying, bro. I name well. Most of the ones that you, that you just named, but I'm yeah. saying like when it get up to the north, to the north, east, yeah, and east, it be fucking up. It be fucking me up. Uh, DMV, Maryland, that's thirty. I mean forty. Mm-hmm. Got ten more. Let's see. Um, um, God damn, that shit is crazy. Um, fifty fucking states. I, I wish I remember that song. I, I used see, to know that song. I by said forty of them hoes. So fuck it, we got forty. You got 40 of them all. I'm going to tap out. We got 40. Because <laughs> I, I, I ain't going to lie. I have no idea what them other 10 states are. And they're going to be some bullshit. Watch. Yes, bro. Oh, shit. New England. Oh, yeah. We didn't say New England. New England is 41. Um, What the fuck Green Bay at? That in the state. But I don't know where it's at. Oh, though. Cincinnati, Cincinnati, bro. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Cleveland. 
Them are cities, Drake. I mean, not, not, Ohio, <laughs> bro. You be Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> This nigga said Cincinnati. You he, know what I meant. You Ohio. said that shit confident as hell. <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> um, Ohio. Yeah. And what, what, what the other one we just said? New England, Ohio. New England, Ohio. So we at 42 now. Yeah. Damn. Um. Did you do... Let's see. Let's see. Did I say... I said Arkansas. Um. St. Louis. Missouri. Missouri. 43. Who just remembers this off the back of the hand? I got 40. You got to remember the song, bro. I, uh, I'm telling you, bro. I'm I used to know the that song. I used bro. to know the song. Alabama, Arkansas. It, no, Brad. Oh, you said Nebraska. I said Nebraska. Did that's you good. say Nevada? Yeah. You said Nevada? I said all of that, bro. Damn. We only Arizona, bro. Arizona. Arizona. I didn't say Arizona. That's 43. Yeah. So we got seven. No, that's 44, ain't it? No, that's 43. We said New England, Ohio, Ark, um, um, what, what, what we just said? We said New England, Ohio, Arizona. And we said something else. Did we? Yeah, I remember saying something else, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I know we at either 43 or 44. Okay. Uh, shit. Shit. I don't know. I don't know either. I can't think We can tap out, bro. I'm tapping out, bro. I'm tapping out. Damn, that's bad. I got to know my 50 states. I want to know all 50. I said we said 43 of them. It be them bro. little low-key states, though, yeah, it be them bro. Massachusetts. Boston, you mean? Boston, Boston is the yeah, city. Massachusetts, Massachusetts. Massachusetts is 44 or 5. See that North? That, that North little North, it, that shit, that'll be fucking you up, bro. So you got a whole lot of shit over there. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> so a whole lot Boston, of shit over there. Massachusetts. Um, Milwaukee? Where is that? Where is Milwaukee? Portland. 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 Portland, Portland is a... No, is that a city? Portland. Because it's Seattle, Washington, Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. I didn't say Oregon because I thought it was a city. Okay. So Oregon is a state. So that's 45. I don't know, man. God damn. Tennessee? We didn't say Tennessee. I thought we said Tennessee. No, we said Texas. We, we didn't say Tennessee. Okay, Tennessee. Did 46. you say... Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, man. I don't know, bro. Yeah. I, I'm out, I mean, man. we can tap out, bro. We had 45. We, we did most out. of them shits anyway. You got another one? Yes, sir. All right, so um, recently, mm -hmm. I did some little research on um, R&B first week sales. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I was just looking at R&B music because that's my favorite genre. And I'm starting to notice something, bro. I mean, obviously, rap music is declining mm -hmm. with the numbers and shit. Mm -hmm. But R&B music seems to be lower than rap music. Giveon, give or take, sold 30-something, like 30,000. Her album sold like 28,000. Damn. Brent album only sold, not the new one, but Wasteland only sold 88K. 88K is good. It's good, but think it's good for R&B. Mm -hmm. Think about that. If you that's got, what I'm saying. If you, got niggas, if, you, if you ask me, her is damn near bigger than Brent. Her is bigger than and Brent. And, sold she, and she sold 28K. That boy sold 88. Bryson for anniversary, I think, sold like 65K. Brent, man. Um, Brent running the game. Yeah, he is right now. I don't know. Oh, Mariah. Ra Ra World sold 22K. But that's what she was still. Yeah, coming up. She was still fresh. A yeah, lot of, she was if still you knew, fresh. you knew. You know what I'm saying? That's Bruh, that but still. Janae Aiko, right? Mm -hmm. She sold 110 with Ch Chalim. How you say her name? SZA sold 300,000. I thought she Oh, you talking about first week. Yeah. Okay, because she went on She to went sell. on to sell more. Yeah. Summer Walker sold... Two hundred some thousand. Yeah. Ari Lennox album sold twelve k. Mm. I don't think she got the push like. She and did. this is what I was bringing up, bro. Yeah. Do you feel like? Cause think about it, back in the day, R and B was the most talked about. Nineties, mm eighties, -hmm. it was all R and B. Do you feel like R and B is coming towards to like? It's been happening for the last couple. Of, if you're not SZA, Beyonce, Weekend, if you're not those people. You're not selling a hundred thousand at all. Mm -hmm. You're not even selling fifty thousand in the R and B market. Mm -hmm. Literally, this nigga Giveon sold like thirty thousand. Her sold twenty eight k. You talking about in the first week? First week. Mm -hmm. Obviously, first week numbers don't matter because the music speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, in terms of popularity and in terms of like, you know, star power and status, mm -hmm. do you see that? Do you feel like the R and B music is slowly becoming to like the end of a thing, bro? Because if you're not them big name artists, you're not really getting a lot of attention like that. I don't think so. This is what I think, bro. 
I think everything go in cycles. Yeah. I feel like we finna get into an era where that where the the shit with no substance. Yeah. I feel like that's more leaning towards dying out. Mm-hmm. Because it's becoming too oversaturated with no substance music mm-hmm. to the point where niggas is begging for good substance. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I feel like sooner or later, next three, four years, that shit'll be back on top. Like with R and B. Yeah. But they gotta they gotta talk. They gotta do real shit though, man. Cause you can't be cause you can't lie, man. Be some tacky ass R and B shit. Like some shit that's kinda like the um What you mean? Like it be like not good R and B. It be like some okay shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It don't be like the shit that move you like it used to. Yeah. I got like I feel like it's a it, I think it's time to I, get back to that instead of this toxic R and B wave. That's what I'm saying. That's what I meant to say. Toxic R and B. Most shit is toxic. It's a it's lot like, of toxic damn, shit man. going on. Like listen to bro. Tired of this shit. Listen to Give Young, give or take, bro. You mm-hmm. you fucked. Mm-hmm. Listen to Brent Fires, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> like, and this is another thing I wanted they to make say. make it sound good. Though. They make it sound good. But this is another thing I wanted to say, bro. You niggas is sleeping on Give Young, bro. Mm-hmm. Give It Young, Give or Take is a classic, no skip album. It ain't a classic, it's no skip. Reason ain't a classic because ain't got enough status behind it. Mm-hmm. But it's definitely a no skip album. From start to finish, 15 tracks, no skips. No yeah. features. Yeah. It's Give Young, bro. He just went crazy on that hoe, bro. One of my favorite projects of last year, up there with Brent. Yeah. Ella May. Ella May album drop. I can't remember exactly what Ella May did, but she didn't do too high neither. Mm. And that's Ella May. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you got big name R&B artists not selling as much. Let's see what she did, bro. Real fast. Ella May. First week sales. And it's that, and it's crazy because, like I said, I feel like R and B music is way better than. Um, see, she debuted at number two, and she sold twenty k first week, bro. <clears throat> she debuted number two on the R and B charts, and she sold twenty thousand, bro. Mm-hmm. And it's like, bro, that shit is fucked up because her music is great. Yeah. I feel like people be. Putting shit into rap, bro, and this rap shit trash, man. Yeah, man, this rap shit garbage. Yeah, but I feel like that's what I'm saying. The the R and B was kind of moving toward that because they were saying, okay, this is what's selling. Yeah, you you right, and that's what I'm saying. And you know who fought it is? Be true to yourself. You know who fought it is? Bryson. It's Bryson Tiller fault. You think so? This nigga made this nigga made trap soul, and everybody started doing it. It's his fault, bro. It's his fault. (laughs) <laughs> this nigga did Trap Soul in 2015. Mm-hmm. After that, all you hear is niggas doing is R&B rap. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Obviously, Drake was doing it. Weekend was a part of that. Party Next Door was a part of that. But Bryson made the genre Trap Soul. Yeah. Cause just because they was rapping on, just because they were singing on more rap style beats, it wasn't trap beats. This nigga Bryson got trap beats and was singing on them. This nigga made Trap Soul. And now all of a sudden, everybody got the same little, you know, same little drum pattern and shit. Yes. Niggas ain't really going high-pitched vocals and going crazy unless you give it on. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like it was his fault, and he shouldn't have did it. Yeah. Well, you should have did it. Daniel but Caesar hard, too, though. Daniel Caesar is also hard, bro. Yeah. He's definitely But I'm saying, I feel like now you're a co-audience. Right? Yeah. Because look at it like this, right? Even though Ella May sold 20 or her sold 28, listen. Her they, audience are probably just like them 28,000 yeah. and they going to stand by. Yeah. You feel me? They mm-hmm. loyal. They mm-hmm. not just fans that's here for this one moment. They going right. to be there all the time. And I feel like and that, those are fans you need, bro. And that's another question that I want to lead right into. And this is just came off the top of my head. Would you rather have a worldwide renowned classic album? Or would you rather have a cult classic album? Oh, and yeah. it's a big difference. Okay, say the difference. A world, a cult classic. I'm gonna just use an example. A classic is like what's an album that's a classic? Um, we gonna use Bryson. Mm-hmm. Well, no, we gonna use Brent. Fuck the world mm-hmm. is a world round classic. Uh-huh. That's what everybody know Brent for. Fuck the world. Yeah. Uh, everybody know him for other shit too. But fuck the world is what really you know uh-huh. put them in the game. Wasteland, on the other hand, is a cult classic. 
it's a classic amongst the people that really rock with Brent Fire. Oh, like, yeah. that's the difference. Yeah. A cult classic is people like, like for example, DS2 is a worldwide classic. Uh-huh. Monster is a cult classic for people who really fuck with the future. Shit. Yes, yeah. and it's a lot. And the thing about it is, just because uh, just because it's a cult classic, don't mean a lot of people don't know about it. Yeah. You feel me? Because yeah. a lot of people know about Wasteland, but a lot of people may not feel like it's just a classic, classic, classic. But it's also a big group of people that fuck with Brent that feel like this is a classic album. I feel like, and you asking me which one would I prefer? Would you prefer like which one would you rather have? Um. <clears throat> Here's another example. Rawa Wild, Wild Real. Yeah. We feel like that is a classic album. Mm-hmm. But not everybody around the world know what that is. Yeah. But it's a group of people that, feel that like know cool. what Rawa Wild, Wild Real is and feel like this is a classic album. Yeah. It's like a cult, like a cult little classic. following. Yeah, like type a cult shit. little yeah. following. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, bro, listen. I feel like it's better to have. It depends on what you're in it for. If you yeah. in it for the money, it's better to have the renowned classic, uh-huh. right? But if you in it to build a community, yeah, and you just want to focus solely on your own audience, not having to branch out to everybody else, that love from the cult classic is some totally different from the different renowned around. classic. Yeah, you're right. That Definitely love right. you get from the cult following your core audience mm-hmm. bro, is something that you can't get from everybody. And that's else. just like raw wave. It's fake shit. It's like, like Roddy Witch shit. Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich is a prime example. Yes, he's a prime renowned example. classic. He dropped a round of classic, and the next album is a cool, all right album, and everybody fucking hate it. Yeah, we need to. And that's what I'm saying. He still got his core fan base that yeah. go rock with him, whatever he do. And that's how I feel like he should. He should just focus on them, and everybody yeah. else gonna follow suit. You, right. you focus on your core audience, give your core audience what you want. I mean, what they everybody want. Everybody else to fuck with it. Everybody yeah. else gonna fuck with it because guess what? Your core audience is gonna do. They gonna be like, y'all niggas word. ain't on this. Y'all sleeping. This y'all real sleeping. shit uh-huh. right here. Uh-huh. So stay stay loyal to your core audience, and you'll be overall yeah. better. Like for example, right? Let's get back. In, let's do back another. Let's do another cult comparison. Yeah. Right? We feel like. Oh, hold up. Victory lap. Is a worldwide classic album, mm-hmm. but Mailbox Money is a cold is a cold classic. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. And I feel like I, I and I'm gonna be honest. I prefer the cult classic, mm-hmm. not to make but to be made. Mm-hmm. Cause think about it, most cult classic albums be low key better than the classic ones. Yeah, because they put more time into the cult, mm-hmm. and that's what got them to the classic, mm-hmm. like Scissor, right? SOS is a great ass album, but it's not better than Control. Uh-huh. Control is like, even though Control is a worldwide classic it's in its own right, it's her at her. It, it's her at her peak or her best. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, could be. Cause could SOS be. SOS was so good. It bro. could be because SOS was good as hell. But you get what I'm trying to say mm-hmm. though. It's like at one point it was a cult classic, and then SZA grew to this big superstar. So now it's her classic album, mm-hmm. and then SOS was the follow up to that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I don't know, man. I just feel like R&B music need a lot more eyes looked at. I feel like it I should feel. be no R&B album, no matter what it is, selling under 75K. It got to be great music, too, though. But, it, but like, the shit that I be naming be great. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm it saying? It should be great, yeah. Like, literally, I'm going to keep using it. I really love that Her album. That Her and Give Me album was perfect examples. Perfect, perfect example. Give Me On dropped a literal 15 album, no skip, no feature, no nothing. And that whole did, like, I can't. Remember, I think it was like thirty eight thousand. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. It was thirty eight k. Now, if it would have sold sixty k, seventy k, I'd be like, okay, bet. You know, uh-huh. but that whole sold thirty eight thousand, and I'm just like, damn, boy. Like, you feel me? Like, I feel like it deserved way more than that. That's all. Okay. That's all. All right, we're gonna. I, get... wanted, I wanted to ask you about that real quick. Yeah, that's that's what's up. All right. I wanted to ask you this because I came across some some childhood shit, man. You know, nostalgia moments, bro. Nostalgia, nostalgia. Yeah, so I wanted to ask you, like, what are the craziest shit? No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what are the craziest shit? <laughs> what are the what cra- school did you go to? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> bro, what are, the, what are some of the craziest things you believed as a kid, bro? I believe that if you eat a watermelon seed, it'll grow your stomach. It'll grow your stomach. <laughs> Everybody would believe that. Everybody would believe. I don't know. Maybe that's some country shit, though. Yeah. But I believe that. I believe if you um, what was it? What Bro, was it? I remember. I, I used to think you could dig a hole in China. Yes. And then them niggas actually yes. did that shit on Total Recall. They did that shit to Total Recall. Hell yeah. Dug a, a yeah, hole yeah. from the other side of the mm-hmm. earth. I was, remember that shit. That shit was hard. Yeah, yeah. 
I remember. I, I remember. Uh, that that little, little, what I up? could imagine the kid being like, "See, I told you, you could dig. You a could hole. dig a hole to China." <laughs> I I used to I used to believe that if you dig a hole too far, uh, you'll go to hell. Oh damn! You believe that? I remember they told us that. Like if you dig too far, cause the cause they cause like we was all when I was growing up on that shit, we was all taught like, yeah, the devil is under you. He's yeah. underground, he's under the bottom yeah. type shit. So I used to be like, bro, if we dig on that hole, he gonna be down there. Or some shit like that. I used to um think um what's the, what what it was something that I used to believe about your face. Like if you if you if you um yawn too much or something, your face will get stuck. What what it yeah, is? What it yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. If you yawn too much, your face will get stuck or yeah. some shit yeah, like I that. To, somebody some, told me yeah, that. Yeah, it was some bro. weird ass shit. So I think my cousin or some shit told uh, me that. But I would never forget the watermelon joint. Oh yeah. yeah Cause yeah. they that my grandma used to say that, my mama used to say that. If you eat the watermelon, it's either to grow in your stomach. Your and stomach. I was like, oh shit. Say, oh my god. I used to be like, let me not eat them whole cause grandma, they might grow my shit for I remember, real. I remember I ate one. I was like, damn, bro, I'm finna have I'm finna have a step. Yeah, I remember that shit. Hell yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Bro, dang, boy, life used to be so different back then, bro. What happened to all them stories? You don't ki- like they don't tell kids that no more. What like about, Joy and them don't know about that. What about what about um if you sneeze with your eyes open, them holes will pop out. Your bob balls. Will pop I never out. seen that one. You never seen that? I one? never heard of that one. I don't think so. Bro, I, I heard of that one. For um, real? and then I, I was looking up on what's called it. And uh-huh. It was another one. A lot of people believe that if you Damn, sneeze, if you sneeze, your eyeballs will pop out. If you sneeze with your eyes open, your eyeballs will pop out. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it. When do you ever sneeze with your eyes open? I know your eyes always. Y'all, always, your, your eyes always squint and shit when you do. You it. Always squint, but I maybe know it's true. Some people might got. If you literally now. like it, which I, it might pop, it might buck a little bit. Look at this nigga. I'm just I'm saying. Pop out my eyeballs. I'm just saying, man. It might be a little, you feel me? Nah. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm trying to think of another one, bro. Another it's a one. it's a lot of them, but I really can't remember. It was something to do with the red dirt. It was one of them that had something to do with the red dirt. Red dirt? If you eat the red. Oh, if you eat the red dirt. Yeah. That, no, yeah. They, I used to believe you can eat the red dirt. Yeah, you can eat the red dirt. They used to say that shit. They like, yeah, they used to make clay yeah. burgers. Yeah, they say you can eat the burgers out there. I was like, yeah. Uh, the fuck? I'm trying to think of some more. Um... Damn, what's some other ones? It's a whole bunch, bro. My childhood so long ago, go though. Yeah, I don't even remember some of that shit. If you, uh... oh, if you step on a crack, oh you yeah, break your mama's if you, yeah. back. If you bro. step on a crack, if you step on, I do remember that too. And if you split the pole, if you split the pole, bad if, luck. If you split the pole, that's bad luck, bro. And it's niggas to this day that still that that still do that shit, bro. I remember I was I, I heard that you know split your yeah uh, step on a crack yeah um break your mama's back, nigga walk down the street. I was making sure I ain't step on not one crack, bro. <laughs> I was like, this shit crazy, yeah, yeah. bro. It's a whole bunch of crazy shit that they used to tell shit, us back bro. in the day, step man. Step on the crack, break your moment back. That back. spit the pole shit was real, though. Because I still see niggas do it to this day. Yeah, spit They'll the spit the pole and then walk back around it. Yeah, like, yeah. the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, the black cat? You see a black cat? Yeah, the black cat, cat caught the look? street. That, if you see a red bird and you kiss at it, that's yeah, good look. That's or good whatever look. that yep, shit was. Hell yeah, damn. You just made me think about a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, bro. I do remember all of that, the bro. Childhood nostalgia, you feel Man, me, bro? Man, hell yeah. I got a um, I got a quick, not quick. I got a real topic for y'all, though. and it's a question, bro. Uh huh. So I seen shout out my man's Duke Dennis. Uh huh. I seen a clip where he was talking about a girl. I mean, not a girl. He was talking about respect and insecurity and all that shit. And this is a question that I want to ask real fast, bro. What are some examples? That you think are insecure versus what are some examples that you think are just you should I mean that you think you should just do based off respect. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like the the question at hand was like he said if you like if your girl go all out with her ass all out and shit like that and they call you insecure, that's not insecure. That's you asking for respect because you you feel me, you in a relationship. You don't supposed to be out here with your ass hanging all out, mm-hmm. right? And I saw people in the comments, people still disagree. It was people that were agreeing with them, but obviously women didn't agree with them. Yeah. Some women was just like, bro, well, that's still insecure because you worried about another man trying to talk to your girl. <laughs> that's crazy. That's that, the crazy that's shit. shit. And it's crazy that there's women out there that believe that type of shit. Mm-hmm. I just find that crazy. Because I, I, I wonder if I walked out here with my dick showing. Hanging all out, would you say the same thing? Would you say the same thing when you see the amount of women that come Try to grab on my dick. Exactly. Would you be like, 
Oh, I go nah, out, you could do that. I go out out in the club, got the pants on where my joint showing out. Yeah. And you talking about some, oh, yeah, you can you can do that. It don't. I ain't insecure. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking yeah. about? It's just respect. It's just respect. I'm not finna go out here and do that because I know I'm in a relationship with you. Yeah. I'm not finna have you looking stupid. Uh, exactly. Because that's, it's more of about, it's more about not making your person look stupid. Yeah. As opposed to you being like, insecure. I don't understand. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Insecure it's conversation. Some niggas that's really insecure out of this motherfucker. Yeah. They, they not secure with themselves, so they try to control every little thing. Yeah. That's. that's but I feel like, like women get that mixed up with a nigga trying to just be respectful than a nigga that actually controlled. Mm-hmm. But see, a that's girl, why you had to set the tone. A girl had asked me that shit one time. Set the tone. She was like, this was like a couple of years. If you going to yeah. do that, I ain't, well, we. This the same thing I told her. This like a year ago. She was like, um, she was like, I got to ask you a question. I was like, what up? And then she was like, okay, so if. I, not me. She didn't say her, but she was like, if a, if you had a girl and she wanted to go out and she had on like this type of dress, she showed me the dress and it, you know how it is, yeah. netting, see through shit, titties all out, it's way up here, right. I'm talking about right above the cheek. Yeah. It's barely going down the lid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's one of them little dresses. Mm-hmm. And she was like, you would you let your girl go out like that? And I told her this. I said, I'll let her go out, but she can't come back in. <laughs> I said, I'll let you go back out, but you can't come back in here. Yeah. And she was like, what? Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, bro. I mean, bro, it's a respect thing, bro. You going out here with your titties hanging all out. You got no clothes on under there, for yeah. real like that. Because mm-hmm. think about it. When girls wear them type of dresses, Who are you they doing not, that for? That's what I'm saying. Who is you going out here looking like that for? I just want to look good for myself. It's yeah. ways to look good without looking like a hoe. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's ways to look good without looking like a, you feel me? Yeah. You can go out there and well, find a whole nother dress that make you look just as good, but you just want to choose to be out here like that. Yeah. You feel me? So I was like, bro, yeah, she could go out there, but she ain't coming back. Because I feel like you know the type of energy that that, that type brings. Of dress give. No, no, you no, no. You literally know it that. Ain't, it ain't, no, it's not the type of energy it brings. Like, because she can go out here in some regular shit and niggas still going to try you to right, holler at her. You right, you right. I feel like you know the type of energy you giving off. Yeah. You giving off an of energy as if you single with Like, come of, talk to me. Yeah. No. But- it's like, bro, it's a respect thing. Like you say, I don't want... And she tried to call me controlling. You seen that OnlyFans shit, bro? No. Wait. Before she tried to we... call you controlling? I swear to God. Bro, before we jump to that, I want to do... finish Look, that story. In that conversation, Look. all you got to do is say, okay. well, you just not for me. Look, I said, okay. Look, before the, before we jump to that, because I don't know what you talking about. I'm kind of interested. Okay. Bro, she literally said, she was like, I don't know. That sounded a little controlling to me. And I was like, hey, well, it is what it is. Yeah. Because, bro, you're not finna disrespect me like that. Mm-hmm. I would rather go with her. And then it's like, bro, I don't see how they can't understand you can't, it. Like, do you not respect yourself? I don't see how they can't understand it, bro. Literally, how do you not understand where we coming from? Yeah. I could see if you had on the most regular shit and I was like, nah, you can't go to the club. Then I sound controlling. Now, I, if, I said, if I said you cannot go to this club, yeah, that's, that's controlling. controlling. But if I say you, you can I, go. Just don't go out there and embarrass me. Yeah. Don't re- disrespect me with what you. You like, in a relationship? Why are you trying to present yourself in that way? One thing I what's, also. What's 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 that giving? I mean, exactly. What's that, what's that doing for you to present yourself in that type of? I way? also hate this new ideology. Yeah. Oh, she's single until she married. Get the fuck out of here, bro. bro that was the dumbest. That's shit. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. Listen, bro. Let a nigga be single till he married. You yeah, gonna be running around with your heart broke. No. Then what? Look, it's going to say, she said, hold up, but she she said it so fast that the only thing she understood. She said a, a, a woman should be single until she married. How you expect to get married if you single? Or if you acting single? How do you expect a person look, to wife you? Hold up, hold up. So you expect yeah. me to be like, okay, you can go out there and cheat. I'm, I'm going to marry you and you can stop cheating. What? What type or, of shit is that? Or you can go out here and shake your ass for this dude and then I'm going to Come back to my crib. And I'm going to marry you. No. No, you supposed to be presenting yourself as how if it's gonna be like this while we in the relationship. She talking about that was the stupidest. That was shit, shit was stupid. Elva, that shit bro. was stupid as fuck. She's single till she married. That's how it. she supposed to get married? That's what they were saying about Lori. I'm saying how Remember she that shit? how she supposed to get married if she giving off single? I don't know, man. I swear to God, in a relationship. Know. In a relationship. How you supposed to get married? Like you said, you single until you marry. 
What? what? Who gonna marry you acting single, bro? Literally, like, bro. Like, what the fuck you talking about, I feel bro? like, and this is no disrespect to no women. I just feel like a lot of y'all don't be thinking. Y'all really. don't be y'all thinking, Y'all say bro. some shit, that's like, because that shit sounded bro. so dumb. That shit sounds so stupid Just to me, like bro. I seen another thing a few days ago. Remember that that clip of the girl? She was doing a little um, slam rock poetry or whatever that shit called? Yeah. And she was like, um, before I let a nigga into my mind, he got a... Fuck yeah, or some shit like that. I was like, that sound even more crazy. That sound wild. That sound wild. Like, because I understand what? the message that you're trying to put out there, but you said that shit a little but wrong. But guess bro. what? You gonna rack up so many bodies like that because you letting a nigga smash on the first night. Before, that was she said. She yeah, said, she I said, want smash on the first night. She yeah. said, I want you to smash on the first night. So you let him smash, right? Yeah. And then what about what if tomorrow? Since he already got what he got from you off the first night, he don't want to fuck with you. No he more. don't want to fuck with you no more. Then you got to start that process over. Let him smash. He thinking the same shit. Then what? Oh yes, sir. My shit went down. Okay then. Screen time. Right, but yeah, that shit crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. You gonna rack up a lot of bodies for no reason. For no reason. What you? What she said. She said she got to see if the dick good. Good first. first. What type of shit is that? Let a nigga come. This is this is the only argument I yes, got for women. Let a let nigga, a nigga come, come say, say some shit like that. I gotta see that pussy. Good he the first. devil. He the fucking <laughs> devil. I'm like, what? This thing I don't understand about women. If you say some shit, it gotta go. It gotta go both ways. Mm -hmm. Say that shit and then let a nigga say that shit. Y'all gonna kill him. Y'all gonna call him a creep. Y'all gonna call him a creep. This nigga might get um. This nigga might get arrested for sexual assault. A nigga can't even walk up to a girl these days and talk to him without being a creep. Yeah. What type of shit is that, bro? And then what the fuck? And guess what? You're going to be like, hey, um, you he asked you for for your number. You'd be like, okay, but we fucking on the first night. I got to see what that dick like. He said, okay, I'm finna fuck you. And I'm now, going to the next. And look, this is another, and, and then I'm going to give y'all women some free game. This is how a nigga think. If a nigga, if a nigga know you easy, he not going with you. Yeah. I'm calling it what it is. If I text in a girl, right? But see, and she, wait, if I'm texting a girl, and, or fucking with a bit, I'm in a girl, and she be like, yeah, blah, 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 I'm finna come over the first night. And I smash on the first night. I know for a fact now, listen, I am not. Let me. I'm let not going forward with it because I know out. she probably been doing that or she done did it multiple let times. Me throw this out there, right? Yeah. Let me throw this out there, right? Sweet. You can have good energy. Y'all could just click from yeah. the instant, and it just happens. That's different. That's different. Don't as just go in there with the intention of fucking. Yes. <laughs> as opposed to you coming out saying I need to fuck and see what that dick like. Because look, because it's like this, bro. <laughs> That's it, wild, that bro. Shit, look, fuck. it's like this, bro. Like, you not going to catch a vibe from him? Yeah. So, hold up. So, you saying you going to fuck him, but without catching the vibe first. You get what I'm saying? Like, for example, in order for me to fuck, we need to catch a vibe. We need to be on the same type of page yeah. Yeah. before we fuck. And so, it, hold up. You yeah. saying you saying you going to get the man number, you going to go to his house and fuck before y'all have a real conversation. Yes. You wasting your time fucking him because it's... Because look, you fucked this nigga, right? And then the next day, then look, listen. Then, I'm listening. The, then the next day, you try to have a conversation with him, and his conversation skills suck ass. Yes. But you just gave up the coochie, and now this nigga then got the coochie where and, he really won't. Yeah. And he gone. Yeah. You can diss him tomorrow and say, you know what? You ain't got good conversation skills. He gonna be like, and I already fucked. Fucking is not the same for women and niggas. I already fucked, bro. It's not the same. A nigga can fuck you and not give what the fuck. He can. A but, nigga can fuck you and I have no feelings attached. He could just smash you just because he want. That's what he want. It's crazy that that she said that. Cause look, I seen a lot of people in the comments preaching her. And look, a lot of people in the comments was like, "That single to she married was like, yeah." That shit. Crazy. I'm like, bro, y'all losing y'all. Okay, y'all got bro. these ideologies. Let us have the same ones and see how y'all feel about it. I just feel like, bro, it's a constant war between men and women. That shit shouldn't even be the same. It, bro, listen, bro, I hate the war between men. This and women. shit lame and fuck. Like people making it like that, bro. Yeah. Cause it's like. Half of that shit don't even need to be said to the public. And half of it doesn't even make sense. Half of that. Even, Single even until on married. the men's side. Even on the yeah, side. on both sides. Because we not finna get up here and just bash the women. It be Hell the no. niggas out here saying some dumb and ass shit. And it also shit, be bro. the niggas like that talking about some I fucked and I don't want to do nothing else with you. Yeah. I'm at least, like I said, that's already a red flag to me. But I'm going to give it a shot because I'm, we already I'm, fucked. I'm going to tell y'all the real secret. For, for if you a girl and you want to get a man, the real secret is just be a be respectful. <laughs> Look, but yeah, be respectful yeah. of him. Uh huh. Have good conversational skills with him. Yeah, and ha and be someone he can feel comfortable with. Yeah, that's all a nigga need, bro. Yeah. You don't need all that extra shit. All that extra shit can go. Like, yeah, for real, for real. You just need to be somebody he can confide in 
Because look, life is already hard enough. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you just need somebody you can com- confide in. All that extra shit that you talking about. Oh, you got to <laughs> do this, 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 and this. Yeah. We don't need all that, like for for a woman. Remember that? Remember that list? She was like, "Oh, he gotta have this much money. He gotta drive this car. He gotta, gotta do this. this shit, he gotta this do this. Shit, this shit. This shit. You a making man, it hard on us? Yes. A man gonna be like, "Oh, she just gotta have a good personality and and I be somebody. I can a fuck nigga. With. I'm gonna be honest. That's a nigga, all you need, a nigga ain't gonna say shit about no money, about no status, None of that about shit, no bro. nothing. That it, nigga literally gonna that just be shit like, yeah. don't matter. It don't matter to us, bro. And I feel like that's how love used to be back in the day because it didn't matter to women at one point. Yeah. The same shit that we look for in a woman was the same shit a woman looked for in a man. A, a person they could confide in, a person that was gonna respect them, and feel safe, and feel safe with. That's all we needed. All the extra shit is it's oh, she, she he gotta be making this much money, or she gotta be making this much money. She gotta goddamn cook clean and all this bull. It's yeah. like, bro, I feel like, bro, it is what it is, man. It gotta start somewhere. Yeah, I feel like. What we should do is I ain't even trying to rant on this shit. Cause I'm not. Got cause a I, lot I'm of really trying to see that next topic, but it's the last thing I'm gonna say I ain't about got no it. Next topic. You said about the OnlyFans shit. Oh, that was. See, I don't even want to get into that shit. Why not? It was about the nigga. Um, his girl. His girl started OnlyFans for about a year without him knowing, and then and then when he confronted her about it, and um, she she was like, "Well, I was trying to get a solution. You weren't giving me no solution." And he was like, so that don't mean you're supposed to go out there and do that. You should have talked to me before you did that behind my back. And she tried to make it seem like it was his fault and she ain't do nothing wrong. She was like, so I did it. And she was like, yeah, I did it. And bro was like, what? He was like, bro, you, and that's his wife. Yeah. So he like, bro, you, you my wife. You supposed to like, you showing yourself off to other people. And it's, bro, it was a whole story. I'm not even finna get into that shit, bro. We're gonna talk about that well, shit. Well, man, that was the end of episode 15, <laughs> man. Um, Cause this shit weird. That out shit here, weird as fuck, bro. Look, bro, it's it's bad to be trying to be in a relationship right now, bro. I, I mean, trying to get in a relationship. I told you not to trust them niggas, bitch. You know you dead wrong. That's that young boy. See, bro, niggas is going out sad. Women niggas is going, going out sad. sad. Women, the whole shit just fucked up. Just like when my, th- th- I know you seen that video, of bro, when he walked in. She was twerking on the gram and shit. Yeah. And he was like, bro, why is you always dancing for niggas on the Instagram and shit? Yeah. And then she was like, then she got hella offensive because she was obviously trying to show out on yeah. IG. Yeah. And she was talking about some, man, bro, nigga, you toxic as fuck. I don't want to be with you no more. Yeah, you bye. You, you, you played. Yeah. He was like, all right, well, let me get that watch that I bought you. Let me get that phone that I bought you. Yeah. Let me get that car that I bought you. Yeah. And she gave it all up. She's talking about, yeah, you're toxic. You're childish, blah, blah, blah. He was like, matter of fact, let me get that wig off you, too. And he snatched that hoe off her head. Yeah. You seen that shit? No, I ain't see it. That's standing on business. Because <laughs> I would did the same damn thing. I come in this hoe. Like, if I can't ask you a question without and you, you get, doing, doing all, that, all that extra shit. Cut. Like, because now, bro. That's, bro, this shit is, bro. Look, look, I ain't going to lie. My energy for, for shit like wanna, that is bro. so low. That's what I'm saying. I be, I, I be trying to avoid that shit. I don't yeah. want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that because shit. Because it's bro. like, bro, that shit, all that love be fake, man. Yeah, that shit be lame. That bro. love be fake because if it was real, you wouldn't say that shit to him. Hell no. Nah. Uh, Talking about some you toxic and shit. What and the, I'm look through, at what the fuck you and doing. And I'm through with you. Look at what you doing. Off him asking a question. Off him saying, why the fuck is you coming in? He cause, And then he ain't get loud or nothing. He yeah. just said he did cuss. Yeah. But anybody would do that. He like he was like. Because it's, it's, obvious, it's obviously. It's, like you no, it's obviously bullshit. something that he already didn't talk to her about. Yes. Because if it if it wasn't, he wouldn't have cursed. He would have been like, what you doing? Why you why you doing yeah. that? But him saying, why the fuck you always doing that? Yeah. It's something she's constantly been doing, bro. This shit crazy, bro. So it's like, you know he, he got a problem that what with he it. Said, he said, bro, every time I come in here, you always trying to dance for TikTok. You don't be dancing for me. That's what he said. <laughs> and I'm like, and, and then she did all that. He took all that shit off, bro. Straight up. Man, I don't know, bro. I'm I'm just, bro. He stand I, on that bending, man. I really don't give a fuck about But I ain't going to care. My energy has been so low for shit like that to when somebody just say something stupid, they just automatically cut the hell off. I just stopped. <laughs> man, I'm I just, stopped giving a damn, bro. Straight I'm up. done with the shit. Don't send me no more of that bullshit. I just send it to you because it be funny, bro. It be funny, but I don't want. I don't want that shit on me, man. We got how much time we got? We got about fifteen minutes. I okay, don't be wanting to like hear that shit because that shit be like that shit sad, bro. That shit toxic. That shit sad. Where we at in life? And, yeah, and it's like in the stage where we at, where this type of shit is called normal. Yeah, bro. That shit is fucked up, yo. Say fucked up. But Remember I told you about the black love? That shit over with, man. Yeah, black love, man. That shit over with, man. That shit played out, bro. Because ain't nobody going to change it. Everybody going to continuously keep getting influenced by the same bullshit. That shit played out, man. Nobody got their own mind no more. I promise man. you nobody got their own mind no more. Because, man, it's, it's, it's... And that's where it really started. 
I'm telling you. Y'all niggas easily influenced by the shit y'all see. That shit ain't yeah, real. That man. shit ain't real, man. That shit fake, bro. And that and that that go to show you, bro. Like most take, of that love y'all be having mm-hmm. be fake, man. Take social media away right now. Let's how, let's see how many relationships last without it. Mm-hmm. Them hoes gonna be gone in the next day. I'm telling you, bro, that shit fake, man. A lot of this shit be fake, man. I got but, some conspiracy theories. Nah, we gonna get into it. Why not? You scared? Nah, I just we, we I ain't trying to go too long on this bullshit. It's not. I'm not even talking about relationship. Oh, what you talking about? I said conspiracy theories. Okay. It ain't got shit to do with relationship. Okay, what you talking about? Bruh. Man, y'all ever heard of a thing called deja vu? <laughs> okay. I know y'all probably heard about deja Bruh, vu. Bruh, what's up with this smooth ass voice? <laughs> say what you gotta say, man. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga got them. Ah. Bruh, what do you think deja vu is, bro? Straight up. Like, if your nigga asked you what you think it is, what would be your answer, bruh? I would say, and it depends, because look, if you would have asked me five years ago, I would have said, bro, I already lived this life, Mm -hmm. right? If you ask me now, I'd be like, bro, it's different possibilities that's going on. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm living multiple lives at the same time. time. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if you would ask me five years ago, I would have said, I've already lived this life. And that's what I'm saying. The question every time you ask can be different depending on your knowledge and what yeah, and, and what, what you've yeah, been studying. And what you've been studying about the shit, bro. The deja vu shit is like deja vu. One of the craziest, craziest things, things ever. to ever happen in human history, and it can't be explained. Can't be explained because what the fuck is it? You have it at the most random moments, mm-hmm. and it's like, bro. I'm gonna tell you how mine work though. I see mine in, in a dream. dream yeah, you say you see yours in a dream. I see mine in a dream, and I, then I could see it three months before. And I, then when it happened, I know exactly when I saw it. I told mama about that shit, too. That I shit. said your shit be in a dream sometimes. Yeah, my shit. Not, not, not all the time. I said sometimes. Yeah, not all the time. But most times, I see it in a dream, and then by three, four months, that bitch happened, bro. And this is another thing, bro. I don't, I, if I could, if, I don't know, but I feel like dreams may be like, like what MC, even though I hate the MCU, they had a good. They had a pretty good take on dreams, bro. What they said? They said every time you dream is you in a. Oh my bad. They said every time you dream is you in a different um universe, or a different reality. Cause think about That's the crazy. shit that you do in your dream. Sometimes you a CIA agent. Yeah. Sometimes you a fucking ghost hunter. Uh-huh. Sometimes you just a regular nigga. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you older, younger. You you in a different lifestyle. Every time you not who you is in real life. Yeah. You never just the same Thomas. Or the same, you know? Yeah. You a nigga that's just doing some different shit yeah. every time. Yeah, but why that, do you constantly have dreams about some shit that didn't happen that's different all the time? And it's always about you. That's a good theory. You know what I'm like, saying? Like you could be living another life somewhere, you tapping into it from Tapping dream. into it from look, dreaming, bro. When yeah. You, when you're dreaming, you're in a state of consciousness that like you, you can't a, reach. Like you, like, you, you in a state of consciousness you can't reach when you conscious. Yeah, you can't. It's like your subconscious mm-hmm. is taking over at that time. And that's the most untapped into part of the brain, your subconscious. Either bro. that or when niggas do psychedelics. Remember when that nigga Mike Tyson, he was like, I took um, some shit. And he was seeing like gods and Egypt and different shit. He was able to, I guess, see like frog gods. It's called whatever. DMT. DMT, yeah. I this forgot shit, what it stands for. Your though. brain naturally make it, right? Yeah, I know. But, but it, it, heightens, it, it heightens it when you take the little, sh- and you, you know, psychedelic. To, yeah. You're able to halluc- well, you able to go into a psychedelic state where you can see further beyond what you're supposed to see. Exactly, They bro. be saying they be seeing fourth dimensional the beings and I shit I feel like, like if we was in the fourth dimension, we would see aliens. Yeah. I feel like that's where they at. Mm-hmm. No cap. Yeah. I feel like they can travel through dimensions. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it, right? But that would mean we could be sitting right next here to an alien, yeah, but right now. But, but we can't see a, it. Yeah, it's a different dimension. Yeah. And that's and I don't know, man. Weird, I man. seen a couple movies about that shit. Shit get real. How, like here, it's man. a city right on top of ours, I but we movie. can't see that I shit. Seen that movie. You know, yeah, yeah, I know, I know yeah, exactly yeah. yeah. It's just like, bro, that shit crazy, bro. I feel like conspiracy theories is so fun to talk about, but then they also scary because some of that shit be true. This shit get deep, man. We definitely got... The more you talk about, the more questions raised. We up. definitely got a motherfucking Cloverfield monster in that bitch somewhere. <laughs> we never seen the... O- Did you know that them niggas just found another ocean, bro? Yeah, I heard about that. They just found another ocean that we have never even discovered before. That could be fake. You know they be lying to us. But if it, if that shit real, bro, that shit is crazy. They got goddamn... What that nigga name is? Cthulhu. Cthulhu. If I ever see him, I'm just going to kill myself. They got Cthulhu down there. <laughs> Cthulhu ass. I ain't fucking with it. 
What makes an what makes an octopus? Why octopus look the way it do, bro? Yeah. Shit gotta evolve from something. Mm-hmm. You telling me an octopus, an octopus that got the head of Cthulhu? It looked like Cthulhu. You ever seen a Cthulhu head? Yeah, I seen. Cthulhu. It looked like a goddamn octopus. Yeah. But they got some species down there that look that, weird. That look as weird shit. as shit that we have never seen before. Niggas look like they can come from another planet. Bro. You got a fish down that hole with a lamp on his head, oh, and that's <laughs> a real fish. Yeah. What? You got a fish with electricity bro, in his body. Did you see that fish with them big ass lips? Like he looked like a human down there. <laughs> I'm going to have to find that I picture. I think that bro. shit, though, yeah. Nigga had some big lips. He had some big-ass lips. That shit was funny as shit, Like, bro. you know a fish don't got lips. They don't got lips. And that yeah. nigga had a big... Bro, I'm like, bro. The ocean is scary, The ocean's bro. scary for... And I would, scary. Never wanna, I would never want to go down there. I'm not Aquaman, bro. I'm not trying to do that shit. And I feel like we keep we keep fucking around. We digging keep fucking around and find... I'm going to goddamn pop up, up out of there. Look, this is a chart. The more you fuck around, you're going to find out. So you might as well just stop fucking around before you find out something that you don't want to know, bro. Mm-hmm. Niggas I'm, already man. came out with that alien bullshit. That shit was fake. <laughs> that shit was fake as hell, man. You couldn't yeah. see none of the UFOs. That shit just a lie, bro. Yeah. I think it's definitely aliens, but I'm thinking like they lying about it type yeah. shit. But yeah. Um, right, we need a no skip album. What you got? Raw 49. Which one? Four God Two. Okay, Look, but let me make this statement, man. Raw Four best. Nine. Raw Four Nine. Four God Two is the best album this year. Yep. I don't um, want to hear nothing about no Travis. I don't want his shit about no Drake. I don't want his shit about no motherfucking uh who else dropped Yeet. No, bro. I don't know what it is, but just, that boy is just that energy he got. That boy is special, man. That man yeah. got. Bro, I don't know what he it got. Is, Wayne in him with the bars that he have. Yeah. He got goddamn mystical in him. You feel? He me? got the aggression. He got the aggression. Bro, yeah, I think that's what it is. The aggression just send you over the top. Like for example, that song Undertaker. Uh-huh. I fuck it's I I fuck with it just because of the way he's saying it. Yeah. That nigga said, "Man, he on strong. Man, he on strong. <laughs> I was getting the back and put the bounce out of box. I don't even know what he said, but that shit was just hard. Then he was like, Bro. "You know when you say you ain't fucking, you kicked out." <laughs> that shit was loud. I'm like, "Oh yeah, this nigga spazzing on these niggas, bro." I think Raw Four Nine really like really slept on when it come to like. I'm gonna, that nigga I'm put out back. a bro, bro put out a good he put ass out a good project. ass pro eighteen no seventeen solid tracks plus the deluxe plus the deluxe was hard the deluxe was hard that yeah, one yeah. bro I fought with four guards too, and just bro. like Travis Scott that's he my favorite part of that song mm-hmm. even though he ain't rhyme that he just yeah. that stuff that's my favorite part of the song when he come on <laughs> that boy shout out bitches hopping off a jet ski yeah he just you just he was saying the back I'm like oh yeah bro I'm gonna get on bro, this, get on this shit. Bro, shout out Raw 49, man. For real. I'm gonna keep it a little subtle. I'm gonna go with Giveon, give or take, mm-hmm. as my no skip album for the day. You guys should go listen to it. And this is before we end it out, we're gonna end it in like a few minutes. We definitely about to end it. But I wanted to say this about Drake album, bro. I noticed some shit, bro. I noticed something about Drake and his music. You know the song, I'm gonna use Polar Opposites for an example. Mm-hmm. I like Polar Opposites a lot, right? A whole lot. I'm talking about like more than I should, right? Yeah, more than I should. But this is the question that I wanted to know, bro. Do I like Polar Opposites because of his how good of a song it is? Or do I like it because it's put on that trash ass album? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like a lot of his music, his, a lot of his recent music is like that. Yeah. If you put Polar Opposites on views, it's the worst song on there. Yeah. If you put Polar Opposites on CLB, if you put it on CLB, it's still probably one of the worst on there. Yeah. So it's like, is it because it's confined with all that other trash ass music? Mm-hmm. Or is it really because it has a great ass song? Oh, and I've been questioning that for a minute, bro. That's I just wanted to throw that out there. Oh, I feel like his music is like that. Like away from home. Mm-hmm. I don't think if you put that on any other album, it's then it's yeah, I don't think it's gonna be as good as all the rest of them. It'll probably be the worst one on there. Yeah, I feel you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That shit, that just, it was a little thought that came to me. But yeah, though, we're going to wrap it up by saying Roll Tide. 42, 28, beat, 8 and 1. Beat them LSU, niggas. You talking about? You feel me? Finna, Still Roll Tide, nigga. And Dallas finna play right at, um. Oh, we play the Eagles tonight. We play the Eagles Ooh, tonight. Oh, shit. And bro, Dallas got it. Dallas got it. No disrespect. Dallas got it. Dallas and them boys it. finna do what they got to do. Um, Let's hope. I'm praying. No, nah, they got it. Dak. They got it. Lock in. Dak. <laughs> I do it every Sunday because I got to. They got it, bro. They got uh, it. 
For sure. But yeah, we're going to end episode 15 like that, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Hope um, y'all had a good Halloween, getting ready for this Thanksgiving coming up in the next yeah. two, three weeks. Yep. Keep on. Keep fucking with us, showing love. Subscribe mm-hmm. to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Straight and, like that. And I'm going to keep it going. Yeah, man, you know, we up out of here, man, you know. Catch us next time on the Thoughts on Lacey Radio.